up and shit. Hey, peace, y'all. This is Views from the Seven <laughs> Podcast. We are here. Yeah, uh, man. Spence, Skinny, Wifey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yes, sir. Uh, Ivan is somewhere with a sleeveless hoodie on. Uh, he got he got some daddy duties, man. Shout out to him, man. If y'all been on the show, man, y'all been hearing about him. And a his, coach uh, with a sleeveless hoodie. I seen him coaching now. Yeah. Coaching what? No, he's not. He's coaching basketball. Yeah. And they won. <laughs> and they won. Two to one. No shit. What he coaching? Basketball. No, like babies. I, I believe I he's know. coaching today. I thought he said he was doing some shot clock shit. Shout out to Ivan if he in if he uh if he in that. I tell I said I'm gonna get back in it when my kids older. Man, I I would love to. That shit was fun. Cause I can't I can't not think about my kids when I'm coaching. And so I'm just a motherfucker. You know what I mean? I'm not a Greg Popovich and shit. Like I can admit that shit. You yeah. know what I mean? When my motherfucking you know I'm coaching them kids and I'm be like, hey man. I mean know, we actually mom, was, and we wasn't mom, scouting. Mom, I'm, let me put my kid. Let me put my kid right here. You know what I'm saying? My kid can do a lot better right now. You know but you don't. You want to be. You don't want to say that. Yeah, you uh-huh. want to be fair. You want to be fair, man. So and you kind of passionate because remember last time you were coaching, you got 86. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's, that kicked you out. Kicked that's off a, a coaching. Life, man. That's a different life, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, man. Bro, we, we was at the free throw line, and, and <laughs> like me and Skinny always say, we legit, we legit so took mm-hmm. kids from the hood. <laughs> And put the brought them together. They had never played basketball, never ever. So shout okay. out to shout out to the kids yeah, now, man. They, I'm super proud of it, man. They still be calling us coaching. Uh, you know, a, yeah. a few of them then went to start, you know, going to school and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Um, a few didn't try to college. Few of them and went the route with that. Yeah, that's dope. Society say they gonna go. Some of them still in the street. Mm. <laughs> yeah, mm. but legit, we took kids from. The neighborhood, you know yeah. what I'm saying? We didn't ask for a lot of money. A lot of this shit came out of me in skinny pocket, That's to dope. be honest with you. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, so you know when you like, um, <laughs> you know when you teach <laughs> when you teach your kids that they never play basketball, you know, you, you got to work on Like, we didn't even, we didn't even like practice a lot. You know, like, yeah. not necessarily like, we didn't practice a lot. So we put the team together. Mm-hmm. We started having practices and then we went straight to a league. You know what I mean? A lot of teams they'll practice for a, a minute. A long time for the hit. They, they would, put they would get chemistry first. Yeah, man. we, we put them right in the league. Got and it was like a do little league too, yeah, which yeah, yeah, all the <laughs> all Ooh. the the teams in yeah. in that league yeah, have been playing yeah. for years. Y'all won't win. It went up, nigga. I was happy. As hell. <laughs> so, anyways, so we co- I'm I'm coaching right, mm. and uh, I don't know. I I can't remember if we were at the free throw line or they were at the free throw line in a. Uh, Something happened. I don't know if it was. It was with the ref. I, or something. I said something to the. I was in Miami. I said something to the. I said something to the ref, mm-hmm. and he said, "Are you worried about that? Your kids can't even line up for free throws, right?" <laughs> 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 nigga, when I say I, you I off. just start seeing red. You went off. Oh my god, nigga! I picked up the nearest water bottle and nigga, you threw it at the ref. That motherfucker. <laughs> Hell yeah, nigga! I was tripping. You know, it's a criminal charge if you fight a ref. I ain't know that at the yeah, time. Yeah, it's a criminal charge. But uh, yeah, so you know what I mean. At that time, like everybody just started. You know what I mean. It is what it is. So I got eighty six like a motherfucker. Out of, the, out of the league or Doolittle? No, out of the league oh. for the rest of the season. Ah oh, damn! And, and he's I, the head coach. <laughs> and so I, I, I did. I get to. <laughs> you had the coach on Facetime. I snuck in. We had made the playoffs. Uh-huh. We had made the playoffs, and I had snuck in for that game. And I, I, we, we was on. The, I was on the bench, but I wasn't like. Yeah. Like Skinny was refing. I yeah. mean, Skinny was coaching. I was just yeah. on the bench, but I was quiet though because yeah. I ain't want to be. I ain't want to be seen. <laughs> but yeah, man. So, fuck, man. That's funny. And then after that, yeah. me and dude got cool. Uh. Uh-huh. So. Yeah. He was doing too much though. Yeah. He. he I'm not the only. That about I'm not the, the only person uh that he didn't got into it with, but it was at that time like. Like I, I know my kids bad. Don't tell me they bad. You know what I mean? Right. It's a personal problem. But uh, but yeah, man. Shout out to Ivan if he doing man. That's 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 honestly man. That's dope, man. Shout out to uh, On the sideline with a sleeveless hoodie. Yeah, that's fucking nasty. <laughs> but he, I mean, hey, it could be monumental. He's a motivational make guy. He can he, he can wake some kids up. I pray, oh yeah. I pray he wearing draws. Oh lord. That too. My God. <laughs> I think bro was made to be a coach because he can motivate a motherfucker. He can't really play. It fits. 
Yeah. Everything fit. Yeah, can't play, can't breathe, can't jump. You know, he's all Just like don't have a basketball. He man. said he was the most motivational Body. person on the bench. So. Yeah, man. Shout out, man. You gotta do something if you don't get no playing time. Right. So shout out to Brody, <laughs> man. Uh man, uh Skinny, what's been update? Uh, not much, man. Not much. Um I started Charlemagne book. Which one? Uh Black Privilege. Okay. Good book. Good book. Yeah. Good so Solid man. book. Solid mm-hmm. book. I started Solid that. Book. Um, is he reading it? He is. You know, I'm Ooh. listening to the. You know, I'm listening oh, that's to Jesus. I, I was one and done. So, <laughs> y'all know, I, you know what I mean. Yeah. I've been, I've been slacking on my reading, but I used to, I used to blow through a book. I used to do like maybe, I could do. I can't read pages. I, I could can, do a book of. I could do a book of. A big ass book. I can do like a book a month. Sometimes if it's good, I'm mm-hmm. blowing through a book in like a week or two, right? Oh, mm-hmm. you don't got Cat Williams skill, but you good. So I got it. <laughs> so I, yeah. So I got to get. I, I actually got to get back on that. It's crazy how like t- your 24 hours shrink and you find it. Yep. You ain't got enough time for it no more, uh-huh. right? But I used to read like a lot, a lot, and I tried to. I think it was Skinny who told, who recommended. Uh, fuck. Oh boy, from uh, goddamn Texas. Jay Prince. Jay Prince. Jay Prince. I got that book. And too. you know when uh, this was around the time that Title had like kind of just started. Yeah. And he put he put the audio book on Title. Jay mm-hmm. Prince is definitely you need to read it yourself. I like nigga. That. <laughs> I said, but this I Jay, will this, never. I don't think Jay Prince can read. Oh, he read it. Yes. Oh God. Well, I said mm-hmm. I will never. You hear me? I will never Hell ever no. listen to another <laughs> audio book. Y'all have <laughs> fucked up. I will buy the book. Mob ties, forgive me. <laughs> but I, I don't think that he book. can read. But yeah, I will buy the book. He I probably read it. But so the book slow. was good. The I book is. The book. Uh, I, I read it's the book. book. I, I yeah. did read that book. The pictures was got me. Like Maybe I read I need that to book. read the book because God the, damn, I was like, is, it was more the so. Book is good. I didn't care what he was talking about. It was his voice. Bro, his fucking voice. I feel I like they should hire a narrator. Like just because you wrote the book doesn't mean that you should read it. I think it Allow depends on who it is, is, though. Like, <sighs> like, okay. Outside of like, I y'all wouldn't like Kevin Hart because y'all don't like Kevin Hart. Mm. I got, I've read his book. You know what I'm saying? The audio version of it. I even gave my fucking book. <laughs> Nigga gave me a book. He had that book for about three years. Ain't that man. But um, like Kevin Hart, even when even when I listen to Will Smith, the the extra shit that they end up saying, like, because they mm-hmm. will read a part of the book and then it might bring back a memory for them. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. cool. And then they would speak on that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so I think that, like, me listening to Kevin Hart's book and me listening to Will Smith's book was, I appreciate them. Mm-hmm. Me listening to Jada Pinkett? No. I, I could have used a narrator. Yeah. <laughs> Even with like Charlemagne. 50 Cent, I could have used a narrator. With the lisp? Yeah, because he got a fat tongue. Like, I do not want to hear that for the whole book. Yeah. Charlemagne, I could probably use a narrator. But, <laughs> but so far, Charlemagne book is a good book. So I've been on that. Um, I just started that. Uh, and that's really been it, man. I, I try to get into my books. I try to find... I'm, so I'll be trying to go back on classic movies. Oh boy, it's hard, Bruh. It's hard. Why did we like some of these movies? Because mm-hmm. they was black on screen. And <sighs> we had limited options. Yeah. So you had watching. to go watch them because mm-hmm. it was a black movie. Let's watch two can play this game. Jesus. Uh. <laughs> Dude, why uh. would you ever? I don't think I got through that whole movie. I don't think it's a classic. Uh, that might be just as bad as Tyler Perry. I Perry's never movies. liked any. Mo- I I hated the entire uh, Jamie Fox with the locks era, Bruh. Even uh, Booty Call. Booty Call. Booty Call still one of my favorite yeah. movies. A lot of niggas don't like that movie. Booty Call still <laughs> one of my favorite movies. But I was watching it and fucking you know when the shit came out with uh, Taraji P Henson, Gabrielle Union spoke on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. About like, the payment, basically how she's always been like a leading role. Okay, like, you know what I'm saying. So, um, <laughs> didn't was, she say like that? That's not her experience. That's not her experience. And, and yeah, Gabrielle Union said that. Yeah, yeah. When was she ever a leading always, lady? She what? When the I Tyler Perry <laughs> Ildris Elba movie? I feel like she had leading roles. She had leading in roles. What? Being Mary Jane. Lead? All her lit. All her lit. That's the only romance thing I movies. Her from. And what though? If you if you say um. What's the name? Had uh, I don't think Kirsten she had big Dun- films. She had Kirsten Dunst in it. She had uh, it was some, it was some heavy hitters in that. T- that what, bring it on. on. If you look back on it, yeah, 
So she was like the lead the cheerleader, cover, but she wasn't like the lead person in that movie. She was, was on she the cover. In, uh, she was one of the Daddy's, main. Was she in Daddy's Little Girls? She was. That was Idris Elba, though. Yeah, but she was the leading lady. She was one of the leading in Brooklyn. No, too, it was uh, yeah, Cradle to the Grave. I mean, she was she was one of them. I, I would have uh, Tasha. Tasha Smith was more memorable than she was. Tasha Smith was always a supporting. And she plays the role. same role. Every yeah, meaning, role. meaning like, Gabrielle. Taraji played I've all never looked at roles. Gabrielle as a leading lady. But what I'm saying is, even if she was put in that leading lady she didn't stand Role, out. Is what you're saying. She didn't stand out. It was always Enough someone. It was always someone else that brought it better than she did. I can agree. And I don't. I mean, Gabrielle has never been like a no actor to me. Which I think that's why everybody felt like it was kind of weird for her to say that <laughs> when she no because when she said it, we're like, yeah. girl, come on now. You, we know you're not making top dollar like that. Like you probably all right, but come on now. <laughs> was uh hold on, was she uh. Okay, was she... Okay, you ever watch her Nazi movie? Wait, what? 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 Where, where she falls in love with a Nazi or whatever, or friends with a Nazi. See? What movie was that? See? Uh, Saving Ned. See? That's that bullshit. That's or crazy. Neo-Ned. I think... Neo-Ned. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you, man. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me go back. Was she... This was an interview? Uh, I forget who she was talking to. Was she suckered into the conversation, or did she bring this up on they, her own? No, they brought it up. No, they asked. They brought oh, it so up. So she was suckered into this conversation. Yeah. She was thinking like a man. But it was so bizarre. Like the, the women that were responding to it, like even Vivica Fox was like, "That was not my experience." Like Vivica you know, just kind of like similar, nasty. Similar and it's like, girl, come on now. Well, I mean, it's the same thing. You know, the the greatest thing to ever happen this year and, and beyond is Cat Williams. Because it starts exposing the behind the scenes shit and what people got to do to get their name out there, mm-hmm. yeah. right? Even when it ain't got nothing to do with them. And so, shout out to Mike Epps and Mike Epps was the one who actually had me thinking about this. Like, Mike Epps honestly came out and said, "I was just upset, or I was just jealous that my name wasn't mentioned. Mm-hmm. Like all these other comedians are being mentioned in a in a even though even though it's in a derogatory light." Their names are still being mentioned in something that's 42, how, 200, whatever some million it is right mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. And so he was just like, I'm jealous that my name wasn't being mentioned. Right. Because he's not funny. <laughs> We're not going to do that, man. He's, he's not, not funny. Fun, Mike Epps is But not it shows funny. you <laughs> what people will do. They will, in, they will include themselves in something that ain't got nothing to do with them because shit like that, you can get left behind. Ain't nobody worried about that. Come on, man. What was, Vivica, Vivica Fox, what was she in last year in a commercial? I think <laughs> I last seen her in like a with that hair. car. Yeah, like what the fuck <laughs> are we talking team. about? But I think in that time, like Vivica Fox, Gabrielle Union was the leading lady to go to for the girlfriend or oh, you smoke wife. You dick right now. Who else? When was this? She's like, in Independence Day. In that era. Mid to, mid to late 90s. Yes. Yeah. From 90s. Hell no. From 95 Vivica? To, from 95 to 05. Vivica and Vivica? Gabrielle she Union. She was in like, the, she was the leading lady in no. a lot of oh, fuck black, that. especially yeah. black yeah. movies. No. What? Yeah, Soul Food. Set it off. And I was thinking of breaking all the rules. Rules, my fault. But breaking all the rules. Why yeah, that was Gabrielle up? Union. I put Jada, Holly. Jada run was short lived. It was very short. Yeah. Very short what? lived. She was mostly known about After Wu, it was over. Marion Will, really? Like No, nah, hell no. Nah, she had Jason's Matrix, lyric. Maybe. Jason's lyric. The Matrix. Lyric. She, she didn't come into the Matrix until That was ninety nine. Like, that was two, the three. Thousands. It was yeah. two or three. It was it wasn't even the first one. And she still didn't really get a, a role like that. Jada Pickett, biggest part of the Matrix was the video game. Hmm. Her role was oh, in the video the game. Her story was the video game. Her story Angela, was not. Angela Bassett? Yes. She was bigger than them black movies back then. See, come on, man. Yeah. What are we talking she about? Was, she walked up with Holly she Berry. Was, especially... Holly, Angela, Queen. Damn. Queen who? Latifah? Latifah? Set it off. <laughs> Bro, come on. What you talking about? Same she had Living Single. She had Set It Off. Beauty Shop. She has a bunch of shit. I'm, putting, I'm not putting her up. Above Lynn Whitfield, Lynn Whitfield was out there. What did Lynn Whitfield do? He pull her resume. A thin line between love and hate. What, what else about? after that? Uh, what was the one? Damn, what I used to like about? that. And her too. episode of Martin. A thin line between love and hate. East, East Bayou. Bayou. Oh, she wasn't. 
Uh, she was Josephine Baker. All right. Uh, she, she did, did Head of State in 2003. She, she did The Cheetah Girls. So her breakthrough was A Thin Line Between Love and Hate? I don't think it was her breakthrough. breakthrough. I think that was the first movie that she was portrayed in a... Negative, like, a, yeah. like crazy. Okay. Um, Can't believe by Jennifer Lewis. She was also in the Mike Tyson movie. Jennifer Lewis always been the mama. I know that was what she called. The auntie, the loudmouth auntie. Uh, yeah, she got some shit, man. And then you got... Uh, Regina Hall, Regina King. Regina King had a cool run. Yeah. Let me see. She was on two two seven. You putting Brandy out there? No. As no. an actress? No. Mm-hmm. Why? Brandy why had? would you? Because Cinderella? of Cinderella. Lila Rashawn. Moesha. Moesha. Oh yeah. Moesha and, smoking uh, all that shit. Lila Rashawn. Who is yeah. that? Who is that? Maybe. Uh. Uh, who is she? She, wait she was in Waiting to Excel too, and also uh, in Boomerang, the one that had the messed up feet. Yeah, the one that messed but up. She was in Waiting to Excel. She was in Waiting to Excel. Gang related. Why do I fall in love? Uh, why do fools fall in love? Harlem Nights, Boomerang. Oh well, she never was cared about, right? No, <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> everybody I'm like, she was. I'm thinking of everybody but, else yeah. in these movies yeah. outside of her. <laughs> you got Nia Long. Neil Long one. Neil Long, Neil Vanessa Neil. Williams. It was Neil Long, Gabrielle Union. To me, K- Kimberly, Le- Kimberly Elise. Kimberly Elise, eh. and I'm stopping there. Mm. What? Kimberly Elise is kind of you can mm. kind of do without her. Holly Berry then was like they was more in the whiter movies, like they was roles in whiter movies. Yep. Yeah. She she legit had to what? Who? Holly Berry. She had set it off. They were all in set it off. John Q. Beloved. it. You talking about Alfred Woodard? No, no. Kimberly Elise. <laughs> Kimberly Elise. Oh. And John Q, she was terrible. And then she's in the Tyler Perry shit. Yeah, she has the Tyler Perry. Yeah. Then she got the Tyler Perry. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just think um, I just think that was a situation where they was, you know, you including yourself in something that ain't got nothing to do with you. I think. I mean, because I, I believe, like, like I say, they was they was black cinema, right? Like they was yeah. the leading ladies mm-hmm. in black cinema. Mm-hmm. So. Taraji never all, all of her roles is supporting roles Taraji? for the most part. Uh, was that mother that Mary? Was it Proud Mary or some shit that she was in? Was well, she was an assassin? No, nobody you want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she was. Hey, it was cool. Proud Mary. It was is, cool. Proud Mary is the female bones. <laughs> <laughs> nobody want to talk about I, Proud Mary. I think for a minute she. Because of the ending, I was told I ain't never seen the movie. Because of the ending, her her career kind of like dropped after that, and then it got picked back up. Uh, she what was the all- fuck was the movie? Some about a boat, and she fell off the boat, and or somebody fell off the boat and it came back. And what the fuck was that movie? It just came out not too long ago. She was in it though. I don't know if it's a Tyler Perry movie. Probably. <laughs> uh, all <laughs> Everything of them, all is a Tyler Perry is, movie. All of them is her. Called? All of them is her just supporting whoever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, but I like Taraji. Like, mm-hmm. she normally does great at her role. Like when we talking on the Gabrielle Unions and the Vivica Foxes, I can't say why I was like, "Ooh, Acrimony." Yeah, Acrimony is a Tyler Perry movie. Okay. Isn't that the one our kids was, was like? Did you see this movie? That was probably her first. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah, it was. That was probably her first leading role. Uh, she outside of Medea. Some BT movie where she can read men's that thoughts. Was her first movie. Well, with yeah. Cookie Lion, I can be like, all. I can be all. Was it the one I can do bad all by myself? She's leading the role in that. Leading that. And what? I can do bad all by myself. Okay. That's when she threw the radio into the uh, to the to- into the tub. Yeah. But I feel like Empire is like where <laughs> she really, you know, took yeah. off as far as like the leading. I was lady. never into yeah. it. But Empire, the was, Empire is like the, um, it's hard out here for a pimp TV series. <laughs> Really you can't is. say out of this point though, uh, <laughs> outside of Angela Bassett, she probably is the most memorable woman because she because in she acting, because black she woman. is one of the good actresses. Like she do have standout roles. Like, I put her above good. Yeah. For, for you, for your first, for your first movie that we remember you for, she Baby was boy. she was she was she killed in uh, talking to me, uh, talk to me too. I don't remember her in that, but I remember her in Baby, Baby, Baby Boy. Is her talk to me is with uh, Don Cheadle when he was um, Petey Green. That yeah, came out he was the girlfriend, Boy, wasn't it? Yeah, but I'm saying yeah. in Baby Boy, that's the first movie that we remember her yeah. for. She was in that movie naked, like in a few scenes. Oh wow! 
nip slip, nipple? Out. Yeah. And what? And talk to me? No, and baby boy. I don't remember saying that. Yeah. She Yo, was her, her titties and all that was in Baby Boy. She definitely was naked. So for that to be your your the, the role that we remember you for, that's your first role, and for you to be able to wipe that out completely, I think that's dope. I I bu- I'm she's one she's one of the better actresses. Like I said, if we're talking about a Gabrielle Union and a fucking Vivica Fox, yeah, there's nowhere near. Look at fuck her face. Man. And you would think like in a in a in a opportunity like that you women would band together instead of trying to be like, well, because basically they're saying, well, I'm not broke. I, I'm getting paid for yeah. what for my what I'm doing. Yeah. That was a, a prime example of when they could have been like, yeah, you know, we're not receiving the same uh, uh, pay or, or whatever and banded mm-hmm. behind her. But instead they used it as an opportunity to be like, bitch, I'm not broke. Yeah, that's, in survival that's, mode. That's, a, that's your Fantasia did it thing. too. Fantasia did it too. Like I'll take, she was like, I'll take that role or some shit she said. I yeah, think but that's the lead. I that's think because first roles. I think because like you know we all familiar with uh, I want to say music is a more we listen to music more than we watch movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think the the beast behind music is more out there. But I they I would think the the shit that goes the undercutting and all that shit that goes on in acting is nasty. Y'all all mm-hmm. live in the same place. Y'all all live in like Hollywood and shit. Go for the Y'all same live roles. in the same place. Y'all all go for the same roles. It's super competitive. I know it's some undercutting going on. Mm-hmm. Some nasty yeah. shit going Hell on. Yeah. Oh, most definitely. That they don't talk about. Most definitely. But that's why women don't get a long stretch as Taraji have got. It's not too many women that get a stretch like that. Outside of Angela. Outside of Angela. I think Angela is like in the position where she can pretty much pick and choose what yeah. she want to do. Like, like Vivica Fox is making Tubi movies. <laughs> yeah, she's making Tubi movies now. So, what are we talking about? And selling wigs. Yeah, but I think is that is that because she started fucking with her face. I I think so. That's when her career started to pivot. Like when she started looking like the Lion Lady. They got the Fifty Cent. <laughs> And start getting crazy. Yeah, that was the last time I was like, they got the fifty cents. Cause she was direction. doing too much. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Now if she would came out today, I'd be like, y'all be eating his ass. Man. She'd be probably she'd be headlining. Right now. Who got longevity as a female? Jennifer Lewis. She was in a different world. That's because she was ever she Jennifer was Lewis. able but she, she was able to like pivot and, fast. And, and, and Regina was Regina Hall, right? Regina, Regina King. Hall, Regina, Regina King, Regina Hall too. Yeah, Regina Hall has been around yeah, for. She's, a she's long been around time. for a yeah. while. And she fucking. Oh, Loretta Devon. Nigga, I've, I've been on the different world marathons. So I've been seeing a lot of famous faces. You early. know what? I she was one of the ones where I would put her. I would, I would put uh, Loretta Devon up there with uh, Jennifer Lewis, but I ain't seen no more of fucking. I ain't seen no more of her. Wait, no, she's that's the wrong person. I'm, that's the wrong person. I'm P-Valley thinking, I'm thinking you're talking about uh, Jennifer Lewis is black Hollywood. What was the Latino. one who uh, who was doing? She was doing like dramas and shit, and then she went into horror, and I haven't seen her since. Uh, oh, it was a movie called like, Was it Ma? Was it called Ma? Oh, that's, um, What's her that's, name? that's not that's not Loretta Devon. Mm-hmm. No, everybody no, gets the no. mixed I can't up. Think of her mom. I, can't I know think who you're talking but about. But she was like doing she was doing like more like dramas and shit like that, and then she went into horror, and I haven't seen her since. I can't think of her fucking name. Tracy's is it Spencer? Oh, nah, it's not Tracy Spencer. <laughs> I'm looking at this. some shit out there. <laughs> Olivia Spencer. Olivia Spencer. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Octavia the, Spencer. Octavia. 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 Yeah, she was doing like serious. I mean, she was doing serious roles, and then she went to horror, and it was kind of like, you know, it got weird. You got to realize when shit don't work. Jamie Foxx pivoted very well. You calm. Mm-hmm. She looks scary. He though. realized the comedy shit wasn't working. Went to uh, drama. Worked out very well for I him. like Jamie yeah. Foxx comedy movies, well, though. Funny. I hate that he don't get his respect for the comedy movie. He, Booty he Call was fucking hilarious. It. Booty Call is up there. Was that Booty because Call of him was or was that because of uh, Tommy, Tommy Davidson? Davidson. Tommy Davidson. I think it was both. I think they both. Both. That's crazy. The Jamie Foxx show? Just throw some shit. I don't Denzel did it. Doing. Denzel, what are you I think, about? <laughs> what? Denzel needs to go back to drama. They, they, they give him small parts, but... I hate Denzel as an action star, action person. Denzel is like seventy two. I don't even know why he's going into action like that. What's like <laughs> Lawrence Fishburne? I want skinny Lawrence Fishburne back. <laughs> See you, body shaming. What's, what's wrong? We with didn't get Fishburne? enough. We didn't get enough of. We didn't get enough of skinny Fishburne. Skinny Fishburne was cooking. 
In what? Bi- what was the last he got biker fish boy? Birds. Biker boys? No, he was What's big. What's left after fish man? Was he big by biker boys? What's the Shit, one when they was in the armor truck? Then. And they was the armor truck movie. I think it's called Armored. Oh, yeah. Big fish. Big he was Big Fish burned by Morpheus. I like I like I think I like Big Fish Burn. Boy, that's crazy. <laughs> What's small fish burn? He Boys in the hood? What's love got, what's love got what's to do love with, got it? To do do with it? it? Hoolum. Hoolum. Yeah. I feel Cullum like what's love got to do days. with it. He he did an excellent job. Like Yeah, he was single handedly ruined. <laughs> A real man's <laughs> life, <laughs> but he did such a good job. Like, and then we got Big Fish whew. Burn. Then he got his, got his, uh, we got Matrix. Got chick. And he was Big Fish Burn by then. Yeah, he was bald. Big Fish Burn. I like. Biker That's like boys. Denzel. Like Denzel like... became old. Denzel fast as fuck. He went from Training Day to, uh, fucking, uh, what's the movie? Cre- he was John Creasy. Q. John it's Creasy. Man on Fire. Man on Fire. He was old as fucking that bald head and shit. I'm like, God damn, this nigga aged. Fast. In a year. He's like 20 years old, too. That is Man crazy. on Fire is 20 years old? Yeah, it's like 2003. God damn. 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 Time be flying. Fuck. Yeah. But he, I, I, I want Denzel to go back to drama, please. And for God's sake, they got to get Queen Latifah off of TV. Shit, Fishburne got a check and got fat. <laughs> I told you. It's like uh what's what's my man's name? Uh He's was like, it uh they gonna make these roles for me. Was it Marco Marcos Madonna? That nigga fought Floyd. <coughs> he fought Floyd that one time. Is it Marcos Madonna? I think it's Marcos Madonna. He fought Floyd twice. Mm-hmm. First time it was shaky. Second time Floyd beat the shit out of him. Floyd well, disappeared off the face of the earth. Now he fat as a motherfucker. I ain't mad at it. I ain't That's mad at crazy. it at all. Yeah, he got fat. Yeah. He got fat fast. I think he was stressed because of his daughter doing the porn movie. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Lord. Jesus I forgot Christ. about that. Yeah. It's a good movie. <laughs> I ain't seen it yet. <laughs> They're in the back of the truck. <laughs> the back of the car is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Mike. I ain't said it was a good movie. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. But shout out, man. I do. I, I, I want to. I, I, I would like to hear more uh, more um, horror stories from the film world. The beast, man. We don't get enough of those. We don't we get don't. enough of those. But, um, they're going to always play the women against each other, too. So. Mm. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. We got all that from a... Uh, uh, yeah. what else, so what else going on with that, you? That was <laughs> it, bro. That's it. All that from an audio book. That's crazy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why me? Um, I don't really have much. I haven't had really much of anything going on this week at all. Okay. Nothing to share, you know. That's all? Nothing, man. Just been... Binge watching, like I said, old Disney World episodes. And Why, movies. Jesus? Why? Honestly, when I did it get bad for you? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> when Jada Pinkett got on the show. So we talk almost season. I think like season three or four. Okay, I just want to. I just want to be sure. And Jada got there. Sure. It got too like corny. But I was looking at how they what? was dressing. I just wanted to be sure. I think the clothes, because we were black people, limited on TV. So we looked at the style of dress and took that. So as by the time it started, when they started really getting into a relationship. Before the marriage and all that shit, you didn't like none of that? Nah, I, you know what it was? It wasn't even when Jada Pinkett. It's when Dwayne Wayne took Willie from the wedding. I think that was just so corny. And then from there on out, it just was like. That was like it. a pivotal part of the that show, was a though. Big like part. everybody but still talks about that. He went and got his woman. I started when they, it was, I don't know what anniversary it was, but I, I, they were on the Breakfast Club. Mm-hmm. They had a. Uh, the bre- they went on the Breakfast Club. It was uh, Jasmine Guy and Jasmine Guy and uh, Kadeem Hardison. And I said, you know what? And I keep hearing people talk about it. And I said, you know what? Let me go check it out and shit. And she aged horribly. Man, sorry, that's man. the white side. Yes. <laughs> um, and I think that's Lotto's future. And she look like I Prince do. now. Like, um, what? Yeah. Jasmine Guy. I don't though. think so. Oh my god. Because when you look back, I didn't know. To I didn't know Lotto guy. was half white. Yeah, her mom. Uh, that's her name. Mulatto. That's what mulatto means. They just shorted the lot. The coffee with cream? Amen. Mulatto means that you Amen. are at that Clark Drake. School District, man. Get us some time. I understood. That's what, crazy. the sister? Yeah. I said, yeah, I, I get it. I get but it. Lotto, is, she's beautiful, too. Yeah, but Can't, yeah, when she start getting older. I don't know. I don't see that. Because even, even when Jasmine Guy was younger, she looked, she looked kind of funny. She was just light-skinned. That was... It. I'm glad somebody is finally yeah. saying yeah, she never she was Now that I'm old, I'll admit that. She, she never was it for me. That's probably mm-hmm. why she was I it for me. But that's probably why I liked thing. what's the name so much when I was a kid. Now I'm back and I'm like, it had to be because she was. Teacher Campbell? Nah, uh, from uh, Escape. 
Tiny. Oh, Tiny. Yeah. I like Tiny. You like Tiny? Tiny is one. Of the, Tiny is one of the few. Tiny was Tiny is the better looking one. Out the four. In, well, out the four. Out they're the four. all. Yeah, was that? Was it? Was it? You're my little in. secret. Where it was like in black and white. Tiny's the better. They was on stage singing. I was like, oh my gosh, she's so fun. That's not the best looking group. No. None of them look good. Candy look good now. Fuck now, now, now she looks better good now. now. Better. But back, back, back then, then, that voice, that voice, my God. Biggie might have had a point. No, he he had a point. <laughs> that probably outside of fucking ooh, outside of uh, total, they might oh, be I the ugliest group <laughs> ever. I I don't you know but, I don't think I don't think what's her name La, Latoya what's the the bigger one I don't think she's ugly. Are you crazy? Mom? I don't think she's ugly, but I don't think that's the best looking group. Mm-mm, not at all. She has an acquired visual. What's the ugliest? Gr- what's the ugliest group? Probably Escape. Escape. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Total is over. There, uh, total. Total in the running. What? Total. Keisha. She was a saving grace. Keisha was fine. There, like even back then, she was fine. She still looked good. <laughs> I go look at Keisha one time. That's the right. one. She That's the really one married Omar Epps, right? Yeah, that married uh, Omar Epps. Total, ooh. Total mm. escape. Which group looked better? All right. Hey, it's a few out there where only one person held the group together. It's not Pam. Trust me. Pam is the ugly one. We've seen them in Keisha recent on the years? left. That's This one? Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm. I mean, she looked like her with not a manlier, like her face is just soft. <laughs> <No. laughs> they look pretty. like they look like twins. She just so didn't have the jawline. Look, you think they look worse than than Escape? Escape in the nineties. They all have one. I think the only group Keisha. Keisha. Okay, I give you Keisha. Keisha. I give pretty. you Keisha. Yeah. I give you Keisha. I think In Vogue had all heavy hitters. If if old girl shave her jaws, <laughs> her and Keisha is twin. <laughs> TLC. In Vogue, in Vogue had TLC. I don't think. I think uh, Chili was the only one. Lisa SW. Lisa what? started to Lisa. I think Lisa became attractive as she got older. Hell nah, they Shit. both was Chili oh, and when the Chili and Lisa was, was, was hell no. Nah. T boss all three. T boss got T boss was, had the was cool. Bill, she I just uh, what she did like her her short haircuts oh, and like crazy. I thought she was pretty. I thought she had the sex appeal. Um, the voice just wasn't. It was chilly, man. <laughs> and then when they got older, by fan mail, by no scrubs, it was it was least it was left out. I mean, no, nah, I think I think I think that's a good looking group. T Boz just yeah. you know, she had to No. <laughs> I feel like I don't know. If people are gravitating towards chilies because of the like mixed features, because she had the the wavy hair uh, and all that stuff, but it, I don't feel like she was the best looking out of the group. Even Why if you look the at her fuck now, wasn't she? She wasn't. Said, Le- left eye had like the condoms on her eyes and shit. Why she just wasn't like appealing until she started really dressing. Chili like. is the best looking in that group for sure. Still? What? Oh, I remember. There's only two now. One got oh, neither one looks. Yeah, yeah but uh, God, one is yeah, out of here and then. She aged. Only one bad. held 702 T- together. We got to give T Boz <laughs> great. T Boz got sick of sale. Hey, only one held 702 <laughs> together. Them pills. So do we put Boy, them in the in the category too? Fuck yeah! So y'all not mentioning SWV at all? Nah. SWV is the uh, is by far the ugliest. Sisters you with think so? all sisters no 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 no. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. Voices. Uh, I like the light skin girl though. <laughs> <laughs> Why did and everybody always I like the light skin girl? Because light skin was in back then. It was the light skin chick in SWV. Yeah, Lily. The one that didn't sing. Lily ain't light skin. She's lighter. She's the lightest out the three. Yeah, no, I never. One of them looked like Shannon Sharp. She was light on the stuff. other one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just can't. Nah, what's the one that looked like Shannon Sharp? Which one is the that? The lead singer, Coco. That Coco, ain't Coco. That ain't, is that Coco? Look at that fucking jawline, boy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> my this my, is my, my, <laughs> my brother's baby mama. Her her best friend looked dead on Coco, right? Like, well, and I used to be like, and dudes liked her, and I used to be like, why? So it's just a she wore the long nails. Mm-hmm. She mm-hmm. was so Coco. So it's just a. Uh, in think Vogue, it's just more. in Vogue and fucking <laughs> Desi's Child. In Vogue, in Vogue, what? Oh, all four the of them are beautiful. The whole group is all four. Yeah, I got especially in the early '90s when they were out. Absolutely, the original group. Oh, girl was in. You know, one of them. Oh, girl was in. Uh, I in, think, uh, aren't they from Oakland? Juice in Juice. The one that um, 
Tupac was messing with, the older woman. Some Omar Epps. Yeah, Omar Epps. I'm sorry. In Juice, she's she a, was she, in Vogue. Yes, that's wow. uh, Cindy. Yeah, this older than. Yeah, this is older than. Huh? Uh, no, that's that's yeah, that's older. Than no, you can't. You can't. It's 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 <coughs> that's it's too many than. members now. You that's don't know. Well, this is the original group right there. That's I don't like, know what you they gotta look like. remember like that's like early AI. 90s. <coughs> like four AI people. <laughs> yeah, look, that one don't have all that stuff on there. Look, that's like early, ni- like 1990. Yeah, it like they always went to Glamour Shots. I don't know. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know. <laughs> right, I don't I don't know. know. They was pretty. But they, I'm looking at the other one. They It's in Vogue and Destiny's Child, where every member was. Well, until Michelle. How old was they? In Vogue? They was 40 when they came out? Nah. They just, everybody it looked old back 90s. then. That's crazy. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Was everybody was old 90s. back then. That's just wild. <laughs> I mean, they, because they, they do like pretty aunties. Like, oh, I think they, I think they was cute was when they was younger 90s, and they was man. already younger, though. They were like mid 20s. Then. Everybody looked old back then. Bro, I was watching That's Family crazy. Matters, man. Carl Winslow was like 39. This yeah, it's fucked up. About 50. It's fucked up. Because when you look, I mean, shit, Martin Luther King died when he was at 30. 39, he didn't touch 40. Fuck! That nigga looked like he was about, in today's age, I think about 57. All oh, the marches in Hard Bottom Church shoes will do that to you. <laughs> That's crazy, <laughs> bro. That's how you know they was crazy. Because yeah, what are y'all doing? Walking that far in dress shoes? Malcolm was, a, was Malcolm 40? Did he I don't 40? even think he hit 40 when he, he passed. Bad, though. Yeah, man, it's just an older look back then, man. It's a real old look. I have to go back and look. They're not, okay. It's it's okay. in vogue and Destiny's Child was the only like ones where every member was had a look of their own. Moke and Steph. Come on, man. <laughs> That's crazy, cause you you would think that the R and B female group is the would be all the pretty chicks. What's the name was close? What's the name was close? Who? Brownstone. Promises, promises. Three L W. Oh yeah. Three L W's close. What but about back then, they o- outside of outside of the main yes. singer who was fucking the, da- the daughter, well, was fucking everybody too. That's I wasn't <laughs> trying to say that. Black, black, <laughs> black. All three of them were, all three of them were pretty beautiful, and black. Yeah, yeah. That's where. But it is. I mean, that's, there's no longevity for the cute chicks. Huh? But that back then it was about singing, Beyonce. really. Like yeah, they kind of it. just dressed you up based on you know you didn't have to be the most beautiful person if you had a, a great voice. And then now it's kind of like has always been a part of R and B. But no, they, it was but in the '90s. They were dressing like, like dudes with big ass clothes on. Oh my god! Oh uh, yeah. Even TLC. You right. With the condoms all over them, like that shit was terrible, man. Oh, that was the style. They was promoting safe sex. This right after Magic announced he had the package. They was trying to encourage people to have safe sex then. They was, they was uh, I, I hate to bring up Twitter arguments, but it was something that uh, caught my eye um, yesterday, mm-hmm. right? So it's a two-parter. One, let's get this out the way. From a TLC perspective, I enjoy fan mail more than I do crazy, sexy, cool. And why I say this, because... With fan mail, I think they had uh, they had some heavy hitters on there. With Crazy Sexy Cool, I feel like there wasn't a lot of left eye in it. There wasn't a lot of left eye in Crazy Sexy Cool. Give me the singles off of Crazy Sexy Cool. Oh, Creek. Waterfalls, Creek. Waterfall. Uh, what was Red Light Special. Yeah, Red yeah, Light you Special. Tripping. Yeah, Crazy Sexy Cool did. Yeah, you tripping. Fan oh. mail. Had what, more scrubs? T uh, left eye though. I think left eye had so more unpretty. appearances. Unpretty, no scrub, silly hoe. That's in that's, that's on, on fan mail. Woo, yeah, those woo, are. Woo, woo. Uh, I feel like fan mail was their cor- worst album ever. Really? Fan mail was definitely the fall off. I didn't like. I didn't fan hear mail. a lot of t- uh, left eye in um, Crazy Sexy Cool. That was that was the best part about it. <laughs> that's fucking. She the best part of no scrubs, and they get it out of here, man. Who's the best part of No Scrubs? Left Eye. Yeah, because it's a song where the rapper chick should stand out. That's it. That's <laughs> nobody care oh, for. Man. Jesus Christ. Left Eye. Left Eye is first album. The first album is more of mm-hmm. Left Eye because that was the hip hop R and B era. Okay. And then Crazy Sexy Cool was them Most being like, singing. we're we're actually so you telling me sex appeal. Okay, skinny. So you telling me their best album like if the. Because uh, I said a best lot, album a lot of people cool. saying crazy. Sex. So their best album is when they're practically phasing a member of the group out. 
And what, Crazy Sexy Cool? There wasn't a lot of left eye in Crazy Sexy Cool. Yes. And we was okay with that. Because she was going through it with Andre Ryzen, so she went at a lot of studio sessions. No, she didn't like the the writing style that they was going at. Okay, she didn't like she didn't like talking about cheating. What crazy sexy cool was when she was going through the shit, right? Burning out. Yeah, but she didn't like the talking about cheating and all like what they was starting to sing about. She didn't really care for like she didn't she said she said creep was like probably the worst record to her. Jesus, and that was like one of their biggest records, and that was one of her biggest records. Mm -hmm. But she she wasn't into the. Infidelity, and she wanted to promote more of black love Got and you. us being together and stuff like that. Mm. I yeah. didn't know "Digging on You" was a a single. It was. I thought that was just a good. That's all crazy sexy cool. I just thought everybody just liked that song. Mm. I didn't know it was a crazy sexy cool. Thing. cool. And cool, there's not so many is. female albums I like. <coughs> crazy sexy cool was solid. You okay, tripping? Maybe because I came up on fan mail. You what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, ninety nine. So you're saying that you would take fan mail over yes. Crazy Sexy yeah. Cool? That's crazy. Oh yeah. I had to go back. Your and age is showing. I had for to sure. go back and listen to Crazy Sexy Cool. Fan mail like, has absolutely nothing. I hated fan mail. Silly hoe. Scrubs. Unpretty. Unpretty. Uh, oh, Scrubs is their biggest. Unpretty is probably the best record on there, and, and that's not and the and best that's record. Not We're not going to do much. that to no Scrubs. Unpretty is terrible. <laughs> it's, it's, Waterfalls is one of the worst R&B songs ever. And I'm pretty is right there I'm with putting, it. I'm put bro, Those I'm putting are like that the next white. To, we not doing what with no took, scrubs. If we put, no scrubs. If we is taking up. the worst worst songs ever. I'm taking Tupac changes <laughs> and I'm taking Waterfalls. These are all crossover and I'm records. Them up immediately. These are all crossover records. That's crazy. When you think about it. That was to appeal to the Waterfall white. Waterfall fits Audi in awards. it fits into what they came out on though. They promoted safe sex coming out. So Waterfalls was kind of like their thing. The HIV song. Although it Three you know letters what I'm saying? took him to his final list. Yeah. But it kinda that's kind of the that was their thing. Waterfalls is actually inside of their demographic of what they should be Especially talking about. That's Fan mail is really bad. And though. then okay, so so that's the first part. The second part. And I wholeheartedly agree with this. The writings on the wall is the greatest. R&B album ever Destiny from Child? a female group R&B group. I Shit. agree What's with my it. What's options? I, of, I, all fem of all women R&B. I really like the other album uh, with Cater to You and shit like that. But the writings on the wall, like That's you can actually wants. let that one play all the way through. I don't even know if it, are there any skips on there where mm, you just be damn near like one. Maybe. Maybe. The only song I skip on there is the gospel, and I think that's the last song. Writings yeah. on the wall. Writings on the wall get you through there. That was a heavy hitter. I'm oh, I'm about... skipping a lot of this. What? Really? Well, because I, I didn't I never like Bill Bill Bills, Bills, Bills. Oh my oh, god. I man. fucking hate Bugaboo. That's crazy. What? I fucking hate Bugaboo. And jumping jumping. What? Why would I put so Bow you Wow hated all I lost of my the, mind? You hated I hated all every the single single well, they, they came put, out they with. They put Bow Wow under Brad on that. Say my name was cool. Say my, name. say my name. Hey, ladies, where'd you go? Uh, if you leave. So good. So good. Why we talk? What? Yeah. My pops was playing this album. That's how good this album I'm is. letting you know. I'm turning on writings on the wall. And I'm, I'm listening to the intro. I'm listening to So Good. And then I'm skipping the next three. Wow. I will listen to Temptation. I know you see me watching you, man. I you watching me. Just now that she's gone. Now Where did you go? go? Where did you go? Hey, ladies. Confessions? They skipping? got a crazy run. You skipping confessions? Yes. Hey, ladies, what wow. I'm, I'm skipping a lot of shit when Missy say anything, though. Wow. Mm -hmm. I give Missy all her respect, but I, I just... Man, you tripping. I don't think there's another R&B album from women that I would ever... I... That album is... Destiny Fulfilled would be the one for well, me. Hell no. But... This is their fucking... <laughs> this is their taking three. No, Destiny's Fulfilled was was pretty good too. But it's only what cater to you on there. Cater to you, cater t shirt. To you, t -shirt. Is she the reason? Is she the reason? Yeah. I like I like love is cool. Talk this is when you knew it was over, but they still trying. No, that, they wasn't. They they fair. that that was is over. I don't think they were still trying. That was Beyonce saying, "I love y'all. I'm gonna give y'all one more, but I'm going." This it. Shit. I'm <laughs> taking my talents to South Beach. That was when I'm taking my talents to South Beach. 
TLC, Destiny Child, Brownstone, SWV, Changing Faces, Allure, Escape, In Vogue, 702, Total, Divine, Black, and Jeanne. Those are all black female R&B groups. Yeah, Destiny the Child. writings on the, the wall. Writings of all is might definitely. be. <laughs> 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 it might be the best R&B. Uh, yeah. I'm not mad at that. Complete album. album. Complete album. I'm not mad yeah. at that. But uh, other than that, man, uh, I like Escape, though. Escape got a good album. And so you say you've been, uh, you say you've been watching the different ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was looking at Dwayne Wayne's fashion. Like, he always wore jerseys, and he always wore jorts. And I'm thinking subconsciously, I think that's probably where I get it from. Probably. No, I think that was I, the era. I though. think that was the era, but I think because I watched so much of that as a kid, I didn't have cable, so it came on NBC. That's so, what one thing people say, like, from yeah. a, a different world. Fashion. When people bring up a different world, it's more about what they were wearing and less about what was going on in the show. I agree. When I hear from it. When I started watching it, because I, I seen it on The Breakfast Club, mm-hmm. so I said, you know what? Let me start watching it. Seasons one and two. Really? With the white girl? I fucked with it. Okay. Season three. Yeah. Start getting weird. God, I know. Yeah. You know? But, but do you crazy. think season one and two was so good because of, like, because wasn't that when it was kind of the spinoff from of the Cosby Show? Of the Cosby show. Yeah. So you had the Cosby characters on there as well, and then they started. Before, yeah. Debbie, before Debbie Allen got on it. That's what they all yeah. do, man. Yeah. That's so dope, man. Like, with the, the Jeffrey, what it was, uh, was it uh, fucking. All in the Family? No, uh, Good Times came from. Was it All in the Family? It was all in the yeah. Family. The Jefferson spent off of that. Okay, then when, when did Good Times come around? Because Good Times was, one of them was working in the building, or was the maid. One of them. That's good. T- that's the Jeffersons. A lot of them shows. That was like, the Jeffersons. Yeah. So they was all. They yeah. was all like. Spin off. Because two two seven came Norman from. Two two seven came from one of them. Was it the Jeffersons? It's one of them. They was all connected though. I think Which that was the weird. best part about black TV shows. No, it was the spinoffs. All in the family wasn't black. But they, it turned they were, into. They were. The oh, it turned yeah. into the black yeah. show, and yeah. then a lot of black shows was. Back to back of that, because I just learned, they were able the to part. to build the characters on that main show, and they saw that the audience were gravitating towards that character. So they're yeah, like, "Why yeah. not make a show specifically?" Because that this is how character. we that's how we start getting black sitcoms was that sitcom and her like that's that's how we yeah. get it. Family Matters and Perfect Strangers. Perfect Strangers was Larry and Balky, and Harriet was the maid. So from I mean not the maid, the they just have a motherfucker press the button on the elevator. That was her job. Mm, so I never put that. Family Matters spun off from Perfect Strangers. You family know, wow. I could never get into Family Family Matters was trash. It is. I love Family I Matters. Could never get all right, into all right, it. I'm it's gonna more corny than that. Family Matters first season was trash. Okay. Because Urkel wasn't too much a part of it. No, when it, when he kept on going from Urkel to Stefan, Stephon. to Urkel to Ste- I'm like, God damn. I'm talking That's about in one episode. Good. I mm-hmm. thought it was good too. I was like, God damn, my nigga, come on. Like, what was he? He was going into something. It was like a machine that yeah, he it was created. Like his machine. I was like, yeah. "Fuck, man, this nigga." That was the yeah. best part, though. I watched the episode this morning. They had a new addition on there, and Urkel in the group trying to impress Laura Stefan. On, I'm yeah. like, "Yeah, it's kind of cheesy." Y'all, that was '90s. What are we talking about? It was some. It was some better was shit. That was, was something that I used to look forward to. Yeah, that I, was at the time I liked yeah, it. But like, now looking back at it, why did we like this shit? Because That's it was our crazy. only black show that we had that was coming on primetime TV. Maybe because I liked the white shit. Thank you. Because I was kicked out of school for a lot of the time, so I got I got like <laughs> a routine. Right. So I was watching like I was. I, it would go from Pokemon, you flip flop from Jenny Jones to Ricky Lake. Pokemon's the and then you had uh, Sally, mm-hmm. and then. What type of kid was you? The Richard Bay show. I Richard know, Bay, saying. holy shit! Hey man, when you kicked out of school, you ain't got nothing to do, man. You create a routine, man. I used to love hey. the Richard oh, Bay show. Oh, and then I watched uh, uh, and in Jenny the house, Jones. in the house. Yeah, in I was house. like, damn, why you not watching? What, what kid is sitting here watching fucking? That you was meant to be a podcast. Yeah, because Sally nigga, is what? crazy. What? <laughs> Were you watching Geraldo too? Uh, Ricky Lake. I couldn't get <laughs> into Geraldo. I couldn't get into uh, what's you my Montel? Man's? What's my? Yeah, I couldn't get into Montel. Montel Jerry Springer, Mari. Uh, I watched a little bit of Jerry Springer. I wanted to see mm. more titties, and I hated when they cut it out. I feel like Maury, he, I loved his show, but then when it started turning to like just the straight the paternity test yeah. thing, it's like, dang, because he used to have some other yeah, good shows, too. The game, the show, the I game. I think that's why I liked the Steve Wilco show I did not get. You know what? I didn't get into the game until I still didn't get into it, really, but when they brought it back. That's a spinoff of Girlfriends. There's an episode of Girlfriends where they had Darren and... uh. Whatever the girl name is was on there, and they took the game from that. So that's I oh, think that's shit. the last spinoff. And so I, I, I was thinking one. about this because like uh, 
when I go get my hair cut on uh, Tuesdays, right? Mm-hmm. Um, they always watch my, – my, my barber loves The Price is Right. He's been watching The Price is Right since he was a kid. So The Price is Right is always on. So then we, me and him be having conversations about it, and I know the story still come on. Yeah. Like, like goddamn, by the time y'all about season 2000. Gotta be. What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> like um, God in light. Like, all that shit still that come shit. on. I'm like, God damn. You, when, like, when you bought Pokemon, that was one of the reasons I like Pokemon, because every week there was never a rerun. It was always a new show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why Pokemon was probably like one of the best cartoons at the time, because you. You I still, wanted to watch it. I still peek in and out. I, I can't. It's so much now. Like I can't even. It's too many fucking names on me knowing. But uh, yeah, it's yeah. too wild now. It's a lot of shit going but on. But at that time, I was like, "Y'all fuck with Pokemon. I fuck with every. I'm catching. I'm late to school or <laughs> whatever when Pokemon come. I'm I'm watching. That. I was kicked out, so I had all the time. <laughs> I had That's all the crazy. time in the world. Uh, yeah, we know you. Have you have out. you got on Tokyo Vice? Mm-mm. What's that? It's Bruh. on Max. Nice. You gotta watch Tokyo Vice, nice. bro. Nice. It's set in uh what's it's it's based on a true story. Mm-hmm. So the dude is real. Um but he's set in Japan and he is uh um a reporter. And so he uh he's basically in like Japan's like underworld and shit, the y- Yokozuna and all that shit. And so I don't want to get too much away because I want you to go on. It's, it's really good. It's only it's nice. It, we're in the middle of season two right now, so you still got, like, we ain't in, like, season five. Motherfucker tell me you in season five. I ain't even going to watch it. So like, it's like the Japanese BMF? No. Shot way better. Okay. BMF, though? You think BMF? You go like BMF? I'm I don't not think into you, it Have you ever all. watched it? I'm not. I, you know what? It? I was I was happy. You wouldn't go more Miami Vice? I was Vice? legit happy. That's what I I asked him when he said the title of it. I was like, is it like Miami Vice? Because mm. Tokyo Vice is kind of... Or watched. Miami Vice. Okay. Miami Vice was more action? Miami Vice is more action. This is more thriller it's more, intense. It's more... There's it's more, action scenes in it, but it's more thriller intense. Yeah. There's not like no a bunch of fighting scenes and shit like that. Nah, but it's eh, similar. In some ways, and they like in real Japan, so it's not, you know, what I mean, they don't they don't do guns and shit out there like that. But it mm. seems like off of the title alone, from someone that's never even watched it, I would think that it's probably Miami modeled Vice. after oh, Miami okay. Vice. I never got into yeah. Miami yeah. Vice, so I, I mean, I don't even know. What, but it, I think it was it was more of an action thing. I did see a little bit of the Jamie Foxx. It kind of is, but it's more like well, it has to do with Tokyo, the police. And Tokyo Vice dives more into the story than Miami Vice was kind of like everywhere. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, Miami Vice was more on the, how can we create action from this? How can we make, like, Tokyo Vice is more involved on the story. Like, you like Spence said, you do get the action scene. Like, you do get certain fight scenes, yeah. but it's not but it's heavy. The, it's the yeah. storyline that. It's yeah. more that the storyline. The writing, writing is, the writing is, is so good, great. they don't have to lean on, like, action, action sequences yeah. because okay. of it. Um, other than that, man, you know what I mean? BMF started I got league slow. pass, so I don't fucking, it's basketball in Tokyo Vice right now. Um... But as far as BMF goes, I was actually uh, happy that they decided to cancel um, Power. Two? They got one more season. Ghost. The Book of Ghosts? They got they got one more season coming. But I was actually kind of happy because I think the problem with it is, I think the, the writer doesn't even, she's not even there no more. Mm-hmm. Courtney Kemp, she got something going on with Netflix. Um, it's all shot the same. It's, oh, I have a problem with that because even though, yeah, I'm watching BMF, but I'm uh, I've been watching Power since day one. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. It's the same fucking. It's shot the same, mm-hmm. so it just looks like Power with different characters in it. Is that more of a director issue though? Should director, they, should uh, they start having different writing, directors? Uh, it's a director problem, a writing problem, and a producer problem. <clears throat> so, me and wifey legit binged. Like power, that first, and season, then yeah. from there I'll we was just power. we wa- I watched Power all the way to Ghost Eye, so now and when we watched I see, a little bit after he. Oh, I seen uh, I seen like the first two seasons of Ghost. Mm-hmm. After that, it just I'm okay. You watch the Tommy one or the Raising Canaan? Oh, I heard God, Tommy, is Tommy is really bad. Tommy's Tommy's trash. is bad. Tommy but, and somebody put that as a number one. I I see why Ghost is leaving because you finna get the prequel to Power. Mm-hmm. So, so, uh, so the original Ghost may be coming back. No, you're getting a prequel. You're getting them as like teens. 
But I thought that's what Raising Canaan was about. I'm trying to wait. Raising to, Canaan was Canaan's it's Canaan's raising, story. But he has exactly. to be Tommy, and they yeah. grew up together. But yeah. they still haven't came across each other yet. So they they're all that. So that's why you're getting a prequel okay. to Power. Yeah. You get so, a prequel to power. So I I respected the owner for coming out and saying, hey, look, I know what y'all like. So we're going to cut all this shit out, and I'm going to give y'all what y'all like. So that's why they introduced the prequel shit. So I was thinking, well, maybe they bring in, they were going to bring like some of their original characters back. Because they was uh, Amari has said on a few interviews that they've been asking him to come back. It's just a money thing. But what else does he have going on? And I, that's why I like, fuck with what 50 is saying. Like, nigga, who was you before this? Yeah, exactly. but the problem is, though, I made this series. There is this. There is no power without Ghost in it. Now, you can say what he's been what he's been doing on the back end, but I think that is the power of the actor where this shit, regardless of what I'm doing in my other jobs, this shit really don't move if I ain't there. Mm-hmm. So pay me what I'm what I'm worth. For this role. I like and dislike that. Like, I dislike it because you signed this contract, you knew what it was, and now you're bitching. Uh, yup. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's a new contract. That's, that's not my, another one. But it's value went up. Now it would be a new contract, and now that that's, would that's make sense. That's what he sense. said. So he said, y'all are calling me. He, uh, These are interviews where he did from months ago. Yeah. Y'all are calling me to reprise this role, but it keeps falling through because the money ain't right. Right. So now he's negotiating, which I'm not. I can't be mad at. I can't. No, nah, I'm. I'm definitely no. not. I. Because I, I has to see. Do what's the name leave? So she got killed, huh? I just like give her force. Tasha. No, Tasha's still there, right? Tasha's still alive. But uh, give her the force. Fuck. Carmelo's uh, ex-wife. She Lala, got killed. Yeah, she. She got was killed. killed. Mm-hmm. So, Lala. but all, uh, I, Lala need to die again. Outside of that, all the. Or- <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Damn. But oh outside of that, all the original characters were kind of like you got. Tommy, Tasha, uh, Ghost. No, no, no. Ghost was gone. Oh. So you talking about no? That's the talking about I, since they've done the uh, all these other the ones. What's the son's name? Jesus. Tariq. 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 I'm like, why I can't think. So of you his got name? you got Tasha, Tommy, Tariq, the sister. The sister still on there? It's, yeah, the younger one. She was in the younger one. Oh, the younger one. The, the, younger the, one. the Not, in, she was an infant when the middle daughter died. Okay. Yeah. Uh. With, is the cop with the terrible New York uh, accent still on there? The woman. She died. No, she's still alive because she's trying to get Tariq now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, the white, uh, the white police officer. He died. He died. No shit. He died. He died. He yeah, died he this season. The last season of Power <laughs> Ghost. What? What? Got his ass. He out of there. He out of there. No. Yeah, he bro. Out of there. Got okay. Him. That was a good kill. I'm thinking too. from the. That's it, from really? The original. That's from the original. Because Proctor gone. That was my guy. Proctor, Proctor. I fucked with yeah. Proctor. Yeah. I felt like he was too big for that role, anyways. But I'm glad he did it. Yeah. I'm glad he did it. Um. So you still got six main characters from the be from the first from the first. Uh, season. Power. Yeah. So. Five to six. And yeah. it still ain't working without. Because you don't really see that people man. talking about it. Like you got to pay me for that. Not book like book two is still it's still bigger than the others outside of Raising Canaan. Raising Canaan, I think Raising Canaan had his shine this this year, and that was the last episode. The, the this year because they wasn't doing the numbers like they yeah. were, and it, once they had killed fucking, we thought Joey Badass was dead. Yeah, it them numbers dropped, down. nigga. They was like, That's oh, we that do last, this. That last episode kind of <laughs> he come back because Raising Canaan. The women is really watching it to see Joey Badass. Mm. Mm. For the most part, like he, everybody has a bigger role than than um, Young Fifty Cent. Oh God, mm. his accent is annoying as fuck. To me and now. they're more like it's getting worse. They're so not getting into his story. Like yeah. we're learning everybody else's story outside of his story, so it makes it pointless for the raising Canaan thing. Yeah, it's uh, like Canaan and Friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> Tommy shouldn't. <laughs> Tommy shouldn't eat the lead because. As long as y'all keep putting him on screen more and more, we figure out this white man is not the best actor. <laughs> Listen, where did he? Where did he? Where did he? Uh, disappeared and go? Chicago. Chicago. Okay, that's where the the, the mob is kind of being. The white man came and took over Chicago. 
the black side, not the mob. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, mm. it's real far fetched. Real far fetched. But even his episodes, like when we were watching Power, and it was just mainly on him, it was never interesting. Like those were not, the worst. That you shows you how much value Amari had. I agree. To that series, I agree. I agree because as much as we watch this white man on camera, it's like and Tommy was my guy too. But on his Tommy show, is horrible it, it as an actor. Working. When he, when, if if he have to be the one that and the other get guys, this role somewhere, we don't want to see dang, his storyline with that woman on drugs was terrible. Even oh in the regular, like God, he's just it was horrible. a snooze fest. He's horrible. So they can cut that. <laughs> Just they could bring off. it. They could bring, bring in it the back. people. <laughs> bring it back as a supporting actor. Yeah, because I get what Fifty is trying to do. You got four. You got four but shows. He's not, is, is he still executive producer? He just put the money. He's still executive it. producer. So he's just putting the money behind it. I mean, that's what they, they do. And because I mean, together. Well, so I guess my question is: So what happens with the, this prequel? Because him and Stars have always been bumping heads. So will this be? But he may he makes Stars work for him every time. So this will be a Star's product, is what I'm asking. The new, the prequel. I believe so. Hmm. He got he, the the deal that Star's ended up giving him, as far as money wise, from what he kind of said, is like crazy, because he basically re- revived that network. Yep. So the number, the money that they giving him is crazy, and he basically runs shit over there because Tommy's show was so bad the first season they canceled it. Fifty was. Damn near boycotting it, like y'all gonna put it back on or we're gonna take these. Damn. That's how it ended so up it's coming been back. Bad. It's been bad day one. Day one, this nigga, <laughs> nigga, the first season, he's in a random apartment, he stumped on the ground and there's 10 keys in the floor, and I'm finna take over the drug game in Chicago. A, a game he, ran by two brothers and then oh an Irish game. And, and they beefing with each other. Game. He the middleman. It's like, come on, bro. Why are you not dead yet? <laughs> Why? <laughs> And then you got a gay black brother, half brother. Yeah. You got a gay half brother that's black, but he has a son that's a gangster Jesus. that you're trying to show him how to really. Why, like, okay. As oh a, as my a, why, god, why the story are, is trash. Terrible. Why is our community so like addicted to these shows? I think because we see the Italians with the mafia. We hear all these other stories of other cultures and their gang stories and their criminal stories. I should say. When we get black people, we should be telling those same stories about us because they're out there. There's a bunch of those yeah. stories. There's a bunch of BMF. There's a bunch of the New Jack City stories based off of that group and all of that. The Curry Brothers in New York, all these gangs, but we never hear that because we hear the we glorify the Italian mob, the mm-hmm. mafia, and all of that. So we look at all these other cultures' criminal stories. Why don't we just stick to our own? Is There's enough just, out there. Is it just because they make better movies? That could be a thing too. The Italian, the Italian, yeah, shit? casinos, the shit. I mean, it's a lot of. Good I feel like the Bunker but they don't Johnson have a series though. The Hoodlum, the Sopranos. Yeah, Hoodlum, was, Hoodlum wasn't directed by a black person. I like oh. Hoodlum. Talking about the Lawrence Fishburne movie. Yeah, and that was better than what's the one? Forrest Whitaker playing the same character. The Godfather. Godfather. Godfather, yeah, Godfather. Yeah. But I thought that was pretty good too, though. Yeah, I, the, same story. As soon as they switched Malcolm X, it was <laughs> night night for me. Huh? <laughs> series. Yeah, that's enough. But we don't what. Oh, Sopranos. I was going to say, what is how you... Never mind. Sopranos, Sopranos is top huge. notch. I'm not going to Yeah, argue. you can't even... Yeah, I'm not going to even argue. Never That's what I'm saying. Chef's like, I don't know... I don't <laughs> know if... Beginning to end. Like, I don't know if we have any... Fire. And, I, and I'm not trying to, like... I don't know if we have any elite black directors that could do some shit or have the vision, like... Coogler? Ain't that his name? Come on, man. You not giving him that? No. You want to give him a nod? No. You like Fruitville Station? No. John Singleton, Snowfall. John Singleton would have probably been the only one that could really do a uh, a black crime story, and that should be good as a movie. I think he's the only one. Outside of that, unfortunately, it becomes a. I think there's a problem where we have too many white people trying to tell our stories, but the problem is. They do better at making a better picture than we do. F. Gary Gray. Didn't he make Tupac? He may set it off. He may. F. Gary Gray made Tupac in Training Day, right? I didn't know he did Training Day. Did he do Training Day? He did set no, it that off. was a. Uh, he did the NWA movie. He did the NWA movie. He won. I think. I think the issue come in like director wise is 
the budget. I think I think black people have a thing of looking like of the last black person. Oh, he didn't. Uh, and I think that's where we have an issue. Like in music and everything, it's always it's always a copycat type of situation. And I think that hurts us. He got he did straight out of content. He did straight out of yeah. content. Law abiding citizen. Law abiding citizen was uh, nice. Friday set it off. F. Gary Gary is nice. He got some joints, but he got some misses. The Hugh Brothers. He did, he, did, he did Men in Black 3. He mm. did The Fate of the Furious. He did The Italian Job. Where? A Man Apart. He got some He got some misses. He got some misses. Where? Man Apart? Outside of Men in Black 3, which was... The okay. Fate of the Furious? Okay. Man Apart was nice. Shit, John Singleton got some misses. You only named two, two misses. But John Singleton misses. Fast and Furious 2. Definitely. Too fast, too. Fa- yeah. What are you crazy, mother? What? <laughs> Nigga, hustling and flow. Oh, you yeah, you smoking dick now? <laughs> Come on, man. What? Sean Singleton got some misses. Mm. What? No, he don't. Shit. Boys in the hood, poetic justice, poetic justice, snowfall, four brothers, baby mm. boy, higher learning. He got shaft. Shaft, too mm. fast, too furious. Rosewood, hustle and flow. Rosewood, black was snake, excellent. black snake moan. I fucked with illegal tinder. I didn't know. I didn't know. I know you you fuck with illegal home. Tinder? What? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Absolutely, I did. The Hughes brothers got dead presidents. Bro, society. That's crazy. I think the Hughes. I don't think they get along anymore, though. The brothers? The brothers. I don't yeah. think they get along. Um, but if they was, that would work. Um, oh, let me see. Training days, Antoine Fuqua. Oh, that's mm. his name, Antoine Fuqua. Still black dude, but yeah. Who I am like I talking Antoine about? Who, made, who who did a casino? Who who he did? He did casino? Antoine Fisher's story too. I didn't think he? Um, uh, yeah, he did. I can't but we don't name. get them in series though. No. Mm-mm. What would they series look like? Also, we know what John Singleton series yeah. looked like. Snowfall was great, and then it, after he died, it mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying took a dive. If a Martin Scorsese. I or hate his name too. I, I would have fucked it up too. <laughs> Is it Martin Scorsese? No, I'm not going to correct you because I would have fucked it up too. Right. Scorsese. <laughs> right. Scors- Scorsese? Scorsese. That man. Scorsese. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That I ain't going to correct you because I would have okay. fucked it up too. So, if a Martin Scorsese. Whoa. <laughs> right, this, this ain't Martin. We know yeah, what you're talking about Martin. now. Martin S. Martin S. <laughs> 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 y'all know how you feeling too good, man. Y'all got me laughing. Ooh, Why you drunk? Like going that? on? Oh, got the juicy mouth. Jeez, oh, I hope that is on camera. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Mikey, tell me that's hey. on camera. Tell me it was on him at that moment. Fuck y'all, man. Man. If I don't hey, take nothing else so from Mar- the show, I'm taking Mar- <laughs> the Martin Scorsese. That is the new game. Or a uh, Quentin Tarantino. Okay. If they did a black crime film, I think that should be the best, one of the best in the world. Quentin Tarantino can't do it without saying nigger. Oh, my God. That's not, but that's the... You Why put did he say this dude? <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the <laughs> niggas he could have But you put him, you put oh him, in, a, you put him in the he area where he's... Definitely bringing the hard ER out. Right. That's for where, sure. Hey, you put not him... Not only in Jackie Brown, though. We don't want him. <laughs> what? He said it's the least in Jackie Brown. We yeah, don't least, want the him. The least in Jackie the Brown. The least, but it was there, though. <sighs> we don't want him. He's saying You put him in an in a arena where... We don't want him in black crime. Leave him wherever the fuck he's at. I'm cool with F. Gary, Gary. I'm cool with Antoine Fuqua. I'm cool with them. We do not want Quentin. Even Spike tried it and it failed. What was the movie with the fake ass games? The music? Come on, we ain't doing that. <laughs> that shit had Spike me. Spike did. The Chirac. Is it Chirac? Chirac, yeah. Oh, Boy, God. that shit had me mad. It took me a month to get through that shit. But his series was good. Uh, She's got to have it. it. That was Marie pretty Gay. good. Yeah. It was. That's because they were all naked in there. Shout out to him for doing that. <laughs> I mean, uh, I think with Power... It it was not only the crime part was we seen a black man also trying to be a businessman in the same so it was it was different mm-hmm. kind of yeah. yeah it wasn't just strictly Watch, street watching a man trying to transition out of yeah. the streets and even, raise a family and fall in love with the police child project yeah <laughs> it, I mean even <laughs> even book two like we're talking about Tariq the kid in college the entitled the kid, kid in, in college, college exactly trying to like, do what his dad did but he only the only reason he was doing that was because. The money, because his dad he only got money after college. He, he only got he only get the money. He only that get his the dad money. Leave him. Yeah, if he finished finish college. 
Right. Which so is so it's still the intentions. Yeah, but I'm saying it's not street. Strictly it's calm. not ghetto. It's not you came from this. It's more so like we know that happens he in came college, from right? I, we you're not making a million dollars in a day. Yeah. But we know in college there's a lot of kids selling drugs, mm. prescription pills, and sh- like we know that. We know that's a part of Ivy League. Period. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like cocaine was big in the '90s era of. College, like mm-hmm. yeah. majority of these lawyers is lawyers because Actually, they were the on 80s, cocaine studies. Wall yeah. Street, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we know it's a big thing. So to bring that part of black out, you know what I'm saying? Instead of yeah. it being the average street nigga that grew up in the hood, selling crack, dad wasn't yeah. there, didn't have shit, he's mm-hmm. selling mm-hmm. crack, which nobody sells no more. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he's getting rich. Instead of that being a story, it makes it better. Mm. I think that the elements of it. I think all the elements of it is there. I'm just with you. The writing could be better, yeah. and the direction, the director can definitely Because it has be to better. evolve at yeah. some point. Yes. Like, you can't just keep shooting the same scenes over and over again, because after a while, like, it loses its luster. Like, mm-hmm. you see how it's watered down. It's, it's only a very few people that are just into the storyline. They don't want to let it go. They yeah. need something to watch, so they watch it every week or, yeah, you know. That's yeah, it's routine. Oh, yeah, I watch this shit every week. But yeah, but I'm with you. Other than that, man, I ain't got no shit going on, man. Uh, my allergies have been just tearing my ass up, man. I really be tearing my ass up, bro. You gotta take your medication prior. He don't to. listen. That's the thing. <laughs> That's See, th- this is the thing. We're not preaching to you, but he has allergies every year. You know, That's what I'm every saying. year it, it happens, and then not only that. We have a, a little son that's his exact replica. He his allergies start like a a week or two before his start hitting. That's crazy. So it's like when you see him getting sick and you see his eyes getting puffy, you might need to start taking all your stuff too. Then yeah, whatever. See? Uh, <laughs> see. But yeah, so uh um other than that, man, I'm uh Monday tomorrow, if I'm feeling well, man, I start a new journey. Okay. Uh yeah, I'll start a new journey tomorrow if I make it. Doing what? Uh, MMA, man. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah. Doing MMA? No shit. I'm starting a journey. I don't think I, I'm too old to be trying to fight anybody. Right. But just in case. But. For the fitness purposes. Yeah. Fuck and we go from there. there. MMA training is. Crazy. It's gonna hurt. How you gonna endure the pain is gonna be the thing. The MMA pain. How you fuck, go- fuck the fighting part. Yeah. yeah. The training part. Training is it's gonna hurt. So I went in. Yes. I went in uh, last week, last Tuesday. I went in. Um, I was actually recommend uh, somebody recommended it to me uh, at work. Mm. They were saying, you know what I mean? Like the way it shocks your body. And it's also like a, an amazing uh, stress reliever. Yeah. Um, shit like that. You know, you can just go in there and kind of. It's not like weightlifting where it's kind of like you you hitting a set and then you you sitting and it's like you you know what I mean like mm-hmm. I I enjoy weightlifting like it's great me time you should lose the weight <laughs> I'm, nigga, do you see this neck nigga do you see this neck I'm, I'm no I'm saying I'm saying <laughs> no fuck that do you see this neck do you see look look at you see this shirt do you see these cuts coming in I'm saying what talking about I'm saying what we talking about Mario your name won't be so long. <laughs> But fuck you, man. <laughs> but yeah, he said he, you know, he was telling me like, you know, he does it on his free time, man, and you know, outside of the, outside of the, you know, I'm just too old to out here. I, I'm not beefing with anybody in yeah. that way. So I need to like, you know what I'm saying. But outside right. of that, it's like well, weightlifting. You know, I can go in there and it's it's a stress reliever, but you still like you still you sitting there. You know what I'm saying. You still thinking a little bit. Oh, that training but, is MMA crazy. is kind of like I don't have enough time, and I can kind of get out. You know, you get out everything because by the time you're done with it, you kind of tired. You know what I mean? And so he uh, he recommended it to me. And I went Tuesday and I kind of just shadowed and I watched a little bit and I checked it out. And so, yeah, man, that'll be dope. That'll be dope. I'm happy for that. I want um, to update on this. this hey, man, I, I hear I hear it hurts. So. Yeah, when he come in here looking hurts. like uh, what's the nigga Bobo? <laughs> 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 the Bobo. But, uh, other than that, thing? man, I just I gotta get these. I gotta get my allergies under control. 
Um, saying you got to get your allergies under control, <coughs> knowing what you need to do to get your allergies under control is fucking wild. This is this is two different things, bro. Yeah, it's two different things. That's some shit. It's crazy. two different things. Like having a exact, like having a blueprint of what you yeah. need to do and yeah. saying yeah. I, I gotta to do, do it. it. Yeah. So and we used then to, knowing like he does this every year, like, <laughs> every year. So I was a little late today because. <laughs> See, wife be buying Benadryl, and I don't really fuck with Benadryl like that nighttime. because it puts me to sleep. So by the time we got up this morning, and we late. I can't even take it. Fuck, man, we gotta get up out of here. I can't even think of the allergy pills I just took. But he they real small. The Claritin. He also yeah. I take Claritin. Claritin during the day, and then the Flonase because he has he yeah. has them really bad. He gotta take the the pill, the nose spray, and do the eye drop. I say every year I'm gonna get the shot in the ass, but I don't. Cause when I get the shot, damn, I shut this. Okay. But when I get the shot in the ass, I don't have to take anything. I don't mm. have to take nothing. I'm just, I'm good. But the feeling is weird. Not, not the, not the shot in the ass itself. It's like, but you can feel the medicine going, going like, into your body. It's, it's a weird. It's a very weird feeling. Peanut butter, and it hurts. What do peanut butter do? Oh, I said it's like peanut butter. What's like peanut butter? In the ass? ass? Yeah. It feels like who putting put peanut, peanut butter. butter in who, so ass. whoever what? put peanut butter inside themselves to know the feeling of that. Like who did that <laughs> first? Freaky Mike that? strikes again, boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hell, no, like if like if if that's the terminology of how it describes it, like who yeah. Yeah. is it? Who thick put, like that? Yeah, it's who, like it was, a you can. It's like when they okay they putting the needle in your butt right. That part is not you know what I mean that part is not bad. That's kind of like a nigga putting butt cheek, butt cheek. But when they're squeezing the medicine. Oh, that ooze. It's like peanut butter. It's oozing it in kinda, your ass. You can feel it. I don't it. like the like peanut butter part. No, but it's, <laughs> even if you, okay, so you know, I had never done drugs before, but you usually, usually when they stick you in your arm, they're taking blood out, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, but. Any for, shot forget goes the, directly forget to the ass part. Stream. Forget the ass part. I got you. When they're shooting, when they when they're shooting it in you, (laughs) (laughs) we're going with this. When they shoot, when they're shooting the medicine in you, you can legit feel it going in your bloodstream. bloodstream. So it's like it's going. It's it's a weird feeling. And that was the part that was like I I don't think I can do this. But how long do it last though? How long is this feeling? Fifteen seconds, and it's a fifteen seconds you don't forget. And that's the problem. You don't want to thug out the fifteen seconds to not have allergies. Bro, you put a finger in the butt. I'm quite sure that probably lasted longer than 15 seconds. It was a little finger. <laughs> what the fuck? Shout what out to wifey for having doing? small fingers. What are we doing? Hey, man, this, that was years ago, man. What are we doing, man? That was years ago. Shout out to not having Juana Man as a wife. Oh, my God. That was years ago, man. Growth, man. <laughs> I was saying 15 seconds. 15 seconds for. Hey, you see, uh, wifey, man, wifey gets kind of aggressive when she's drunk, man. Can't see. Now you, now you do it. Too much. <laughs> now y'all doing a lot. Uh, aggressive fingers. Crazy. Um, Spread them cheeks. So the big thing, uh, have y'all been following the. We, I've been, I kind of been hitting at it, hitting at it for quite a while. No, no, no. You know what? No, 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 no. Before we even get on that, Jalen Green. And Dre, mm. he's she's been getting a lot of heat. She says she she's overwhelmed. She seven months pregnant. She feels she's overwhelmed. Everybody's making her feel like a disgusting human because she's pregnant by a twenty two year old. Yes, S O U got real issues with the shakiness of the narrative. If an unarmed black man gets killed by a cop and he's twenty two years old, we'd be like he killed the baby. He was so young, he had his life ahead of him. But yet, a 22-year-old 20, 20, impregnates a 39-year-old woman, and it's some people are saying he's a grown adult, he can do what he wants. Then some people are like, well, she had sex with a baby. And I think it's not the fact that he's 22, it's the fact she has a son the same that's age. That's the same age. Mm. And I think that's what the disturbing part is. She's pregnant by somebody that's her son's age. So my question is, is 22, are you the baby, or are you the adult that make adult decisions? Man... Well, you heard me and Wifey earlier in the episode, and we brought up Drake. Is Drake going through the same thing right now? Uh, by messing with? Messing with Lotto's sister, who is also 21? I think so. Yeah. Really? So you hear the, okay, so you hear the song uh, that we, we reviewed like it last week about the, the, the four bats. Mm-hmm. So he had a bar in there about clay coat. I guess, uh, I guess that's about her. That's a, a water from their, their hometown or whatever. Yeah, it's really called clay coat. Yeah, they're water. Um, clay coat County. <clears throat> I mean, I'm in a, you know, that's the thing about fake Karen. 
where like you fake care about so much. Yeah. You find yourself not caring about nothing. Mm-hmm. And then when somebody does ask you something that you do care about, it's not taken serious. If that makes sense. Uh, yeah. It's, it's like I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Twenty two is an adult at my at this point in time. I mean, you can drink, you can smoke, you can do what the fuck you want to do. I don't see. And maybe it's just I, I'm coming from a. I've never been with someone younger than me. Yeah. Always been in. I've dated one person in my whole life She's that was 21? younger. Twenty one. She's twenty one. Twenty two. Not old sister. She's. I think she's 21 or 22. And they're rumored to be dating. And then Lotto posted a picture with the water bottle. Mm-hmm. She reposted his picture. That's what it oh, was. Oh, she, re- okay. So, yeah. He posted a picture. But if you see her, you'd be like, I just looked at her. She's, I understand. She's attractive. Yeah, she's so. Fine. But that age would fuck me up. I I mean, I'm into older women. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm thankful enough. I yeah. married one. Yeah. So. Yeah, because I'm 25 the years old. I now. was like, God <laughs> damn. He, no, <laughs> like, <man>. you, <laughs> he make it seem like you about to out here granny. 52 <laughs> to 35. No, but, y'all kids are the same age. Yeah. Like, I mean, what? came into this with kids around the same age. Like, y'all grew a family. of. I mean, I, okay, so I've only dated one person in life that was ever younger than me. Gotcha. But I've always just been into older women. And that maybe because maybe it's because I was raised around older women. I don't fucking know. But... I mean, as, as long as it works for them, sh- shit, shout out. Right. You know what I mean? I think they said, like, he got his name tatted on her now. Or her name is tatted on him on his stomach or some shit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, But let me ask you this, then. It's not like she's not attractive. Would y'all want y'all kid at 22 dating a that's, woman 39? That's my thought on it. Like, I don't know how I would be able to react if my 21-year-old son came in and was like, Ma... I got this yep. woman that's your same age pregnant. Like, I, I I know we can't control what our kids do. She's 39. But I would have, yeah, and, and I'm going to be 39 this year. So if my child came in and said, Mom. I impregnated your classmate. Your homegirl <laughs> is pregnant by me. I would have a problem with that. Yeah. But if it's not your homegirl, what's the issue? I would still be, I would be weirded out. Like, she got, she has a baby my your same age, and now she's pregnant by you. My son will be 22 this year. My, if he came and said he's having a kid with an older woman, my only thought is she gonna die before you, son. <laughs> Get that life insurance on her early. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I understand that she's grandma and you pops in this situation, and you might end up raising this kid on your own. <laughs> Not even. So that. you winning to me. You won. You, I, you get I get it. I might get baby mom out the way, but <laughs> but I, I think it's I think it's more of like the because people will say grooming and shit like that because it's someone older. I think it's who initiated the situation. Well, he said she used to be his babysitter or some shit. Him too. I married my babysitter. So. Okay, now oh. that's different. <laughs> that's different. I don't see. I I, I think I maybe <laughs> again. I would be like. I probably would be like, damn, son, or something like that, or damn, you know, to my daughter. Damn, son. Especially, that. Okay, so especially given the circumstances, like, he's he's very well off. So it's like, do you just... I think, like for, for, just, I think it's good for someone his age with the money he has. Her being a babysitter is wild, though. I think that was something he has said. I think the problem with this situation is not that he's 22. It, the problem is that he still looks like a kid. Right, but in my mind, I'm like, shit. If I'm telling my son, if it's my son, I'm like, damn. Well, shout out to you because there's a chance that you don't have to go through the bullshit that we go through. Facts. As parents, when the baby comes here. So what if you're telling your daughter? That if she's dating an older your man, same age, and she's pregnant by that you knew, and and he used to be around her when she was a, a kid. I probably would not be if I. You talking about I knew? Yeah. I would. Be unhappy, but they're adults at this point. There is nothing I can do and step think, in. I'm making a situation about me if I do that. I think all the variables change everything, though. Like, if if my son come to me, he got the babysitter pregnant, I probably got an issue. Years later, though. Yeah, so was y'all fucking when you was a kid, too? Like, I got exactly. issues. Exactly. Like, how long has this been yeah. going how on? How long has this been? Like, 
So I fucked with. I'm trying to think of how to say it without saying it. <laughs> but so one of my uncle exes, I fucked with. Right? Um later, as I was getting older, I was like, damn, I did feel like I was preyed on. Right? Because even when I was a kid, mm-hmm. oh, you always been so mm-hmm. handsome and da da da. Yeah, she mm-hmm. was weird. Right, and then I end up hitting. We kind of ran through her, me and my cousins. Like, damn, you know, be, uh, like I not, yeah, yeah, yeah. not like purposely, that. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like not purposely, like, like, but that, like, that's just what she was into, right? Like she, mm-hmm. that's a thing. She hit on me, uh, I hit. Yeah. She was hitting on my other cousin, he hit. And I noticed she tried to hit on my other cousin, and he, that never happened. You know I what I'm saying? I low-key so got a family member like that where, like, we related, huh? but no. we ain't, oh, It's like we kind of related, but we ain't related, so we all going to run through you? Nah, like but that. we relate. Like, literally, literally, my, she was my uncle's girlfriend, and she was around raising all of us. Mm. Like, we would go to the house with her. We would, You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, she was around us. Yeah. Her and my mom, them, and all got close. So even after the breakup, she was still around us as we was growing up. Mm. So thinking about it later, it was like, damn, like you really did like mm-hmm. us as kids. She was weird. Yeah. She was weird. Yeah. I probably was still. I think, I, she had I think, <laughs> I, fine. I just <laughs> said, I just say, I, I feel like I would be comfortable, if, you know, I would be comfortable knowing that you had a, you, you're having, a child by someone who one, she's used to being around someone with a lot of money. Two, she's in those same circles, so she understands. So she's been around. And most three, likely. all you gotta do is step in and do your part. She don't have to worry about the variables that we go through on a daily basis I, when I, it comes to women and kids. I he think has, my only issue is knowing him as a kid. That would be my only issue. If it was a 22-year-old and a 39-year-old that happened to meet at his basketball game or something like that, and you know what I'm saying, like they ended up like that's cool. Okay. But if I had a crush, if I had a crush on you as a kid, or if you had a weird crush on me as a teenager, I think th- I think that part of it is the only weird part of me. If it was like he 22, did he get all his whole phase out of the system? Is he trying to be with her long term wise? I mean, he can still be. But see, the the thing yeah. is though. She but the thing is though. Yeah. The thing is though. He's, Women get he's to their had a, phase late. He's yeah. had that a baby true. by someone. Shit, he could look at it like a fucking surrogate if you want to be honest. But he's having a baby by <laughs> she, someone. She ain't gonna be here long. <laughs> he's having a baby by <laughs> yeah, someone who's 30, used to his. Is, is the end of the world. <laughs> I mean, I'm just Jesus saying, like, Christ. by time the kid, by time the kid is twenty, she's fifty nine. Yeah, but to have a kid, 60. to have a kid with someone who's already used to that environment, yeah. though, he, he don't have. To, it's easier on him. He don't have to deal with the silly it, shit. He don't got to deal with. Now he might have to. He gonna have to deal with the, the, uh, your girl's hoe or your girl's ran through. But as yeah. far as like the parental situations, I don't think he has to worry about. All he has to do is step in and do what he needs to do as a dad, which at his age. In his profession, may be a little shaky. Now, you if he really would. think so, though? Because honestly, like, where where is her mental capacity if Thank she's you. dating down, like, drastic, having a, a child by a twenty two year old young man? Like, where is she at mentally? I, it feels like she she has can be childish, be, as childish. Yes, mm-hmm. I would think because well, she, I am I only fuck because. So let's say she she's the babysitter. Let's say she was the babysitter, right? Let's say he grew up and he don't become who he became. Would okay. you have made him a baby daddy or mate? Or would you have just fucked because you wanted to fuck him because you thought he looked good? Like, what would have been the situation yeah, then? Are we, uh, do he get a pass because he's a nigga? Yeah, yeah, like, I've been around the money and you have the money, so let me lock in on the money. Because I can more so control this because, nigga, I changed your diaper. I raised you. I can more so control this situation. Prior, it, if I unless you if she would have wouldn't fucked on future like if it's future, yeah, she's the loser in this situation. It's gonna be bad for her. <laughs> but you got this young man, you kind of control you that. You secured the bag. You secure you secured the bag in that situation at thirty nine because now you really ain't got to do much no more. She ain't not, she hasn't had to had she hasn't hasn't had to do anything. No, nah, because her original kid is by who? 
Is it by somebody? I don't know, but it ain't like I mean, we we. Well, I can't say what she does, uh, to make money, but it ain't like she she still be out there. She still be out there. Just because you out there and because you know people to she be ain't in certain, struggling. That's what I'm saying. Circles, like I, I don't. That doesn't mean that you're well off either, though. Like especially in the the Hollywood like. It's not, a, it's not a. Uh, that's more about what who you know. It's not a fucking um, guarantee that he's. I mean, a basketball players make a lot of money, but I could see him being out of league in two or three years. He ain't like mm-hmm. this motherfucking. Mm-hmm. He ain't this fucking superstar. This is his third year in the league. Mm-hmm. He's being uh, overshone by uh, first year players. Mm-hmm. He's being outshone by first year players. Uh, he's been on the trading block for. He's been on the trading block for the for two seasons now. Yeah. It ain't like she hit the lottery. You know what I mean? So uh, he's up for, uh, I think this season, he's up for a contract extension. And it's going to get real interesting. Mm-hmm. He may not be. The child support don't stop either, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'd be crazy. Um, where y'all at on the. I, so we, I've been talking about it like. Uh, a few episodes and a few episodes in the past, and now I, it's kind of getting kind of serious. I think you Loki talked about like damn near day one of the start the, of the that. ban in the the banning of the TikToks. Yeah, I think you spoke about that. Yeah, early. yeah. You really before about it that even for passed. A while. Yeah, yeah, way before. Well, I mean, it time. hasn't started. Uh, I think you can't you can't access it on any government. Uh, you can't access it on any government college campuses, shit like that. You can't really you can't access it on there. Uh, software and servers and shit like that. Yeah. Uh, Which I understand that, but I think that that should be for all social media across the board if you're doing that. It's not yeah. an American-owned company. There you go. Yeah, let that shit go. Mm-hmm. How y'all go? TikTok? TikTok, I'm for it. You tripping. You they going to make you another. No, nah, I, I purposely didn't get it. I, it's an oh, addiction. Yeah, man. I think, I think you start is. going uh, down the wormhole. All hole. of it is an addiction. I'm talking about it TikTok is. until you're part of TikTok. <laughs> 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 Talk it about is. TikTok to your part TikTok. All they're going to do is make another app that do the same shit and call it something else. That's why they want to sell it, and they don't have to do that. Uh-uh. That's why they're forcing, they're trying to force the dude to sell it. But I understand his situation, too. It's like, if I got something this big, why would I want to sell it to y'all? Fuck y'all. And why would I allow y'all to control it? Well, it's not, it's not, tic- it's not it. TikTok itself. It's the company that TikTok is owned by. That is a Chinese... They're collecting data. Americans want money for other shit like they always do. America for like they want a they, piece of the pie. You owe me money. That's no, true. Uh, it's, I think it's a little bit more serious than that. It's it's about data collected, and it's not outside of what people are already do. So I know that you know when because Facebook does it, Twitter mm-hmm. does it, Instagram, all that shit, the Meta shit. And they're all, all owned by the same. But they're all, all owned meta. It's, um, as long as it's American. No, America. It's American shit. Don't sell our data to China, right? But so when you okay, so when you Google something, right? You Google something, and next thing you know, you see an ad on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's part of data collecting. The problem is, is that the company that owns TikTok is a Chinese corporation, and they have been unwilling to commit to not letting the Chinese government get American data, and I think. When that happens, now you're talking about, oh, I can really interfere with elections. I can change your timeline to how you feel in some type of way. I can manipulate. I can harass. I can do all of these things. Because if you notice on TikTok, even today, if you notice on TikTok, it ain't never nothing Chinese on there. No. Mm-hmm. That is a real. Mm-hmm. But it, it's also, it's, um, you know, catered to what you look at. Like, my, what pops up on my For You page is totally it's different. Definitely different from, than mine, facts. Yeah, That's why I like TikTok. It's never, like, yeah. if I was following Chinese uh, influencers and stuff, then yeah, I would see them all the time. Mm-hmm. But why would I follow them? It's like, if there's. It's also a, based off your location, your GPS, mm-hmm. and your phone. So, and if, and, I mean, and I don't care. what they're saying is, what they're saying is, <laughs> What they're saying is if if the Chinese have American data, right, what they can do is they can influence your timeline based on what you like. That's a problem. 
But they do it they all do day, it on every Instagram. day. Just like they had us all looking at the damn uh, rice coffee and all that, the mushroom coffee, and then all of a sudden it's not yeah. there no more. Now it's overnight oats. Like but it it's ain't American. America. In America, I mean, in China, don't they don't. China and other places, they don't. You can't get on Facebook out there. You can't get on Instagram. You can't. They we have their own. Can't do that to them. They have their own uh, social own sites. Google. Yeah, they have their own social sites. They don't do Facebook and all that shit mm-hmm. out there. Mm-mm. So, because of our laws and the freedoms and shit like that, we are on a Chinese site. At some point, it becomes bigger than just us as. Citizens. So, are you for you're for the ban as an American? <sighs> I'm not. <laughs> uh, I'm not for it, but I'm not against him selling it. If that makes sense, like Why? I would, I would rather it be in American hands. Why? What have America done for you? Nothing. Shit. Americans do the same thing, but it's all about control. Yeah, why do I want it in the hands of the motherfucker that's, that's been, been controlling me? me every, you, you know they say by um, you know way. you know they say by you know cause now I'm in my nerdy shit. You know what they say by like twenty thirty, the America and China will be on the same it'll be a level playing field economic. That's a fucking problem, and it, it's it's the, for who the, us. We losing power because now we're not a, we're not like the superpower anymore. Now it's we're competition. It's not right now. It's like the U.S. and then there's like China and then there's kind of like everybody else. Now you put the U.S. and China on the same. Now you're talking about real competition. Now the freedoms that we have may look a lot different when there is a power on the same level as we are. When we able to you know we able to talk and talk shit is. The freedoms we have, because ain't nobody else fucking because with now us China on a bigger come over scale. Because now China could come over here and run us the way that America war went look, everywhere else. War would look them. a lot different. I don't think war is going to be like like it was. It's going to be a, an intellectual war or an electronic war. Fuck them people. <laughs> fuck America. <laughs> <laughs> fuck China. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Like I like I don't know what changes in my life because it happened. I mean. Maybe I can get an apartment when the Chinese you don't come think, over here. You I don't, don't fucking know. <laughs> Mike, you don't think any you don't think anything? Maybe they can look out. Like, well, Mike, like, put your phone, put your make sure your mic on. Yeah, like what are you scared of though? Like like what? Yeah. Uh another um like, you, another you, country you, being you, on the same you, level? Do you think China's gonna like all of a sudden invade? Like they're gonna become like us or something? I think they're gonna have the per, the potential to use our devices and electronically alter how we vote. Alter. My nigga, our devices are their devices. And they're <laughs> their but devices are but not the servers. Our voting has already been <laughs> altered though. Like we do that within our ourselves. Yeah. So, so yeah, like we got dead yeah, people so voting. So it, we keep know it within that us. It, keep it in house. Keep it in America. Don't have another I still don't think shit. Bro, I don't think we've America. ever we don't we we've we've, <laughs> we've never lived when there's another country on, when there's a level playing field now. Have we it though? might because be better. It might be when? propaganda. When America was being built, bro. We're a young oh, country. This is before my time. We was dead. Yeah, yeah, but you know Well you know what we probably was here. I am a reincarnation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the last nigga that didn't give a fuck about America. <laughs> Some escape slave shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it, I mean, honestly, are we even really that strong? I mean, is it or is it propaganda? Well, yeah. Or is it propaganda? Because just like we, we kind of create the narrative and we make it to be whatever we want it to be. You know, people are not really willingly joining the the armed forces America like that anymore. Just don't like nobody. Get it. Not, They're not, not joining like the military that. like that, but we it's still we still that country. We're still big brother. Motherfucker's like, still coming here. It's for a, a difference between being big brother and then there's another motherfucker over there like, nah, nigga, we can fuck with y'all too. You sound like we just scared to be bullied. Hell, Hell yeah, yeah, nigga. What are we talking shit. about? Man, we the bullies. That. We the top dog. Man, shit. I would man, rather us be the bullies than be nigga. Bullied. It's a nigga on the other side, like, yeah, nigga, we, we what 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 you want to do? What do you want to do? Nigga, and then I can start taking your resources. Now I can start influencing. Now I can really start like, no. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I'll come over there. What y'all doing over there, bro? 
You know what I'm saying? Do they like shit. niggas? No. Are, are we cool? You know, <laughs> America don't like niggas. Like there's like there's no there's no win in they none don't. of this for us. Anyway, but we got the most freedom as niggas. Yeah, there are races over there too. There are races everywhere yeah, worldwide. They, they're doing genocide on the fucking Uyghur people yeah. over there. But so I okay. guess so only we have don't the like most. Tibetans. We have the most freedoms. Freedom. What freedom do we have? The most we've ever had. What 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 freedoms don't okay, China? What, you they, had a freedom to just say fuck America on his mic and not worry about the government coming to kill you. You just said fuck America. You can't do that shit in China. In China. Hell, Hell no, no nigga. The niggas is off you before you even leave the studio. Fuck China too. <laughs> 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 like, I don't, you know what I'm saying like I I just don't know. I, no. I mean either like, way, you think China's just gonna take it away from you or whatever. I don't think they're. I, I don't think they're going to. You think there's people in China that never said fuck China? And you think all of them died? Like you think motherfuckers said, man, fuck China? It was like they, they he's got gone. A, they got a record of people. The laws saying, are China different over died. there, man. Bro, they're right. saying all of them. The laws are different out there, man. You can't just no. There's certain freedoms that we have out here. One is freedom of speech. Man, that know. the other countries do not that don't exist out there. Y'all sound like when a nigga come out here from Chicago. Niggas ain't killing out here like they killing out there, bro. <laughs> fuck y'all. <laughs> fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you <Yeah>. fuck. <laughs> like, and I feel like that's what but how do you argue China. that? You know, we killing out here too. Like, then it's supposed exactly. To, yeah. So, like, if there's somebody in China saying "fuck y'all" in, in Mandarin, you, sometimes you realize you are very, very small and <laughs> yeah, but it's the big, the bigger picture. And I'm gonna never be a part of the bigger picture anyway, so I don't give a fuck what y'all do. Like, he's a small it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm never gonna be the 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 person that changes this decision. You know what I'm saying? I, so regardless of where you put me at, I'm still a fucking drop of water you. in the ocean. I get you. I'm just, I, as long as I've been living, we have always been big brother. And let me talk my shit as we are big brother. I'm 100% okay with that. You to say wasn't there big is brother, a, though. To say that there is a different, but the freedoms become different. There got to be something that unify us as a country. When it's all said and done. Granted, we all got our problems. We know racism exists, all that shit. There's something that has to unify us as a country that we take pride in to become stronger and remain the country that we have. We can't never unify on shit. China over there, creeping, they watching, they pocket watching. Sooner or later, they're going to make their move when they be on the same playing level as us. Are they pocket watching? China got some money. Everything that y'all use is ours anyway. What do they use that's American? Exactly. Everything that America uses, damn near China, is made in fucking China. You Chinese? The man? shoes you put on, <laughs> baby. Chi- like y'all, y'all been using us anyway. Everything is fucking ours anyway. A lot of the technology is ours. So they put an embargo where we don't fuck with China shit. How are we, how long are we gonna sustain as a country? We've we been put- fucking with China though, right? But if we just, oh, said, well, I think we owe China right now. We we, we owe China debt to them, the Federal Reserve. And we still mad about these niggas being on the same. Not a pa- it's not a it's not a power thing though. That's a money thing. That's not a power thing. But yeah. don't they go hand in hand? These niggas owe us too. Yeah, it's, no. it's the checks and balances. I don't, like you guys are arguing about checks and balances and things that use, are used to keep it in place. Like there's nothing gonna happen. Like unless if you go to war or some shit. Yeah. So using the military, Mike. Yeah. If China gets this power, um, instead of us being big Thanos, brother, we are happens? on equal playing field. They're more than likely gonna take over Russia. If that's the case, because that's more than likely a better option, considering all those resources that Russia have that are right next door to them. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the fact that they, it, Russia doesn't really have much of a big old military power, as you've seen for these past two years in this war that they've been haven't been able to take over this smaller country. And China's doing the same fucking thing. They're trying to kill all these people in this small ass country next to them, but Taiwan. they're not doing that. Taiwan. Like, yeah. So okay. it's like, what, what are you going to do in America? Are you going to go across the fucking ocean and invade Alaska? What are you going to do? You're going to come to California and fucking they'll put their money invade? Out. What? So military-wise, will they be a threat to us? They'll put, Power. They'll pull their money nah. out and stop sending us shit. And then, then what? They're, they're already trying to do that by making their own money with the Silk Road by taking over Africa. Do you guys know about that? Yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah. So, like, what, what are they going to do? Really? Thank you. It, our money is our money. <laughs> our money is well, our it looks money. looks a lot different when you got... And we already owe these niggas. <laughs> Outside of being 50 cent and saying, nigga, pay us Monday? Like, what the fuck are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> you going to send your billions of people over here? What are you going to do? 
All right. I, we we own your IRS now. So when they so up, instead of paying America, we start paying China. Like what if, happens? If, we it's still money that we don't have access to. Oh, individually way. we don't know. But if they want to say it's time to collect, and America, and what? Like, they're going to collect from the same motherfuckers that, that America has been collecting for all this time anyway. So at the end of the day, what changes? They're still going to collect from us. Your taxes will go from being given to. The Americans and them mm-hmm. giving your billion dollars to who the fuck they feel like to go into China <laughs> and China giving your billion dollars to whoever the fuck they feel like. We still have no control of this shit anyway. Yeah, but I again, I don't want to go to uh, on the bigger on the bigger scale. I would never want to go from where we are now as Big Brother to like a Russia. We not shit. But that's internal. Well, I'm saying where where we are, like we are mm-hmm. still drops in the water, right? Yeah. Yes. We will still be the drops in the water. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. As, as our yeah, our, yeah, as, our as, economy, as, our, us, we don't change. No. We don't change. But Whatever the, the fuck laws, goes on, the, 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 the things that drop, the consequences will drop all the way down to us, though. So the things that we we love now and the freedoms that we enjoy now may not be as secure as they once was if we not are not big brother no more. You would have to change the constitution for that, bro. Will it, will like freedom of speech, these laws that will you're probably talking about. Will it be less sex like, trade going on? Will America <laughs> stop selling our kids? Right. Like That, that doesn't change. Can that, we that win somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> will, the, will you start letting out people from prison that have been in yeah. prison wrongfully incarcerated? Will they come over here and say, hey, America... You know all the foul shit that y'all was doing when y'all was coming over here telling us how to run our country? We want to run some shit, too. Let these motherfuckers out. Thank you, China. I don't know what changes. How do they help? It, I don't know how it helps. Benefits us in neither way. Whether they become as powerful or not, how do that benefit us in either way? We still going to be the motherfuckers that get used in this situation anyway because we don't have no control. We're a small so, ant in a big ocean. So hopefully Absolutely. it would give... Hopefully... <laughs> America be like, hey, let's give our people more control, and maybe our people will say, yeah, we're for America. But if you're not giving us the control anyway, I don't give a fuck who runs this bitch. And there's no reason to be scared of them, bro. There's like, you can go over there for a vacation right now and get yourself a cool deal, get a massage, you know, hang out, go gamble like how you do here. Like, I think the it just things you're gonna will get change. a better jack off over there. Things oh will my change. Gosh. Things will change if we not be happy. Happy is very happier. happier. That is all. I'm much happier I'm saying. in yeah. China. Much happier in China. <laughs> Shit, did Spring Mountain? And <laughs> happy end is probably better in China they got small, than it is on Spring Mountain. They got small hands, bro. And then maybe, maybe the restaurants <laughs> on Spring Mountain will start having better <laughs> grades. <laughs> we won't have to worry about Jesus. health issues when we go to eat over there. And it's not oh being a fucking God. pigeon. Maybe we can get some fucking <laughs> exotic. <laughs> Maybe we get an exotic pigeon from China. Bro, that chicken on our different. plate. I don't know. That, what, that ain't regular chicken. That chicken is pigeon. It's good, but goddamn, I ain't never seen chicken nowhere else like yeah, that. Yeah, that you like pigeon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go, out, go outside and yeah, eat that motherfucker, pigeon. that shit in your car yesterday. And you go going to get the same taste. I don't be seeing pigeons over there neither. That's in crazy. Mandarin. <laughs> Gotta get Mandarin pigeon. <laughs> Jesus. Mm. <laughs> well, you know this episode going to be banned in China. <laughs> <laughs> Made in China. Man, but I'm for, uh, well, I, don't really, I don't think it's fair that they take in TikTok, though. I will be honest about that. I don't like that part of it. I don't like. I I just don't like the bullying aspect. Period. I don't give a fuck if I'm so called a part of this shit or not. Like I just don't like the fact that you can just say, "Hey, we don't like what you're doing," unless you sell it to me. Unless you sell it to me. Yeah. Um. I was watching fucking well, listening to the Fifth Element. They had the politician dude on there and shit, and I thought that he was saying some cool shit. Like, if you're gonna sell it, sell it to the influencers that was able to make a good living from this. Give them yeah. a piece of the company. Mm-hmm. I thought that was dope. I think that's like if th- if this is if these are arguments of allowing our people to have more control or you know something into it, and I'm for that. Even when I seen the dude the dude that was I can't think of he went viral for something and he was like, you know, y'all not all this time, I'm not getting paid for this. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all been using my memes, y'all been using this all this time, and I'm not getting paid for it. If America was forcing more of that, I would be more for America. Like, 
for the people that did something, let them own it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Stop taking from us all the time. Like even in situations of like death, like organ donors, right? Mm -hmm. You make millions, you get millions and billions of dollars off of these organs, and the family gets nothing. There's no kickback. That's it's true. a thank you for yeah. So if you were starting to do shit like life. that to say, hey man, we appreciate you for donating life. Here's your family a hundred thousand dollars because they donated a heart. Here's your family a hundred thousand dollars because they donated a lung. Because black organs is so called the best organs. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah. if that's what was happening, cool. Thank you, America. But since y'all don't give a fuck, I don't care if they come over here and step on y'all heads one time. Like, I don't give a fuck. It won't change my life. What if they give TikTok to the influencers and we're led to believe they own it? Like how Puff Daddy, we thought he owned Ciroc. And they gave us the illusion that... If they have some type of percentage, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As long as they getting... Because you're getting not some getting... some kind of kickback. Because once you take it, once America takes it and then... Now tracks. what they're getting, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like now they're getting. Not, I've, I've, I'm one of the reasons. Black people has been one of the reasons that everything has thrived. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So if we're the reason why everything is thriving, give us something to take it from us again. Like <coughs> we built this, and then you taking it from us because even are they taking it? Are they, at, at, this point, did at this shit. point, at this point in life, are they taking it from us? Or are we giving it to them? We're always giving it. So that's what I'm saying. Allow us to allow us a chance to fight for it, though. But in business, that will never happen. And I think that's, a, that's more of an us problem. That's internal. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I think a yes and no. They will have the largest economy by 2030s, by, by the way. I was just reading it. TikTok? No, China. 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 Yeah, man, it's a Shout lot of out. people. Shut up. <laughs> they've they been having a lot of sex over there. <laughs> they, I think they can, they can only have like two or three like, babies. Yeah, it's a yeah. max. Yeah, it's a max, yeah. and they have to. Don't they got to go to? Regardless, I think they got to go in the service. Yep, they have yeah. to. It's not a. Yeah, that's I crazy. mean, like that's the crazy part. You know, y'all come over and start doing that, but shit, I got a couple kids. I wouldn't have been mind if they would have killed. <laughs> oh, they wouldn't have let happen. I mean, I love my kids to death, but I'm saying like it was certain times when I was like, "Hey, man, this abortion would be cool." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they just survived it, and, and now I love them to death, but. I mean, if they didn't survive, I wouldn't have missed them. Look at you out here living and shit. Oh, hey, my bad. So if you would have cut me off with two girls, they'd be like, nigga, if you don't produce another boy, you can't have it? Like, ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and that law don't matter. It still got to go through the Senate and the president. So Yeah. I mean, force me, force me to have a boy. I would have definitely put the sperm in a lot of more people. But because I kept thinking it was going to be a girl, I was like, fuck this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> But if you tell me you're knocking them off every time they come in, we're going to figure this shit out. <sighs> I got 13 yeah, tries in me. You lost me. Oh. After <laughs> <laughs> First, I was stupid. like, damn, yeah, he making sense. Now I'm like, yeah, mm. count me out. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all, man. God damn. Uh, hey man, we talked about a lot today, man. This was a good one, man. Uh, we ain't never get to that list that we got of topics up. You ain't never. never get to this, bro. Don't worry about it. <laughs> now you start to you start to see like you yeah, know you gonna learn, like, bro. Yeah. You trying to come up with as something soon as this new mic, every week. Soon as this mic come on, we kind of just yeah, go it goes, it. and sometimes it goes, and it goes, and that's the backup plan, right? It goes, and it goes. We gonna figure that out. <laughs> All right, man. As always, uh, you can find the podcast on Twitter at Views from the Seven, Instagram, TikTok, Views from the Underscore Seven, Facebook at Views from the Seven. Boy, I gotta breathe in between this shit because God damn. Uh, you can follow me at Just Call Me Spence on Twitter. Uh, Ivan at Young Al Bundy. Uh, Skinny, Skinny Junior seven 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 on Instagram. Uh, I think I'm the same on TikTok. Go over there, man. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Fix TikTok, man. <laughs> Give me over there. I'm going to China. Oh, man. Uh, you can find me anywhere at Shayna underscore candy. That's S H A Y N A underscore K A N D I. I'm, I am S to the O on Instagram and Twitter. I don't have TikTok. I'm all America, baby. Mm. Go get TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. We up out of here. Peace. Peace.